one. Okay, I'm going to assume that we're being recorded. We have no signal. And for those who have been tuning in and patience, we are not live tonight, but we are recorded. So hopefully you will pick this recording up somewhere along the line. Um, welcome to the Hampton Municipal Budget Committee meeting of Friday, January 8th, 2015. 2016. 16. Oh, okay. My checkbook is <laughs> doing an out too. Sorry. 2016, for the record. If everyone would stand and pledge allegiance to the flag. All right. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We can start the roll call with Bob. Bob Ladd. There's an eye. Mike Blue. Stephen LeBranch. Eileen Latimer. Brian Lapham. Jones. Sandra Nicholson. Mike Sears. Scott Blair. <laughs> Nick Bridal. Phil B. Thank you, everyone. We are going to be preparing the budget tonight, but before we do that, we have um, a Warren article that was overlooked. And we have our fire chief, Ayat, with us tonight to go over that. It's a very brief one. We've talked about this one before. Um, so, Chief, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Good evening. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Thanks. Before you so, start, could I have a motion on this? Sure. I'll move um, yeah, article. By the title. I will, I will move for article. <laughs> Full-time fire prevention secretary. Second. And the reason I'm not referencing a number is because it's an incorrect number. It's, it's, it's out of order, right. It's an out of order number. So. The article number is out of order. Yeah. So. Yes, ma'am. It's article 30. I just um, printed off a brand new copy that came across my desk. Chapter 5 from Christina. It is labeled article number 30 in there. All right. I know you voted on 29 last night. Exactly. Do you, do you have that? I'm sorry? Do you have a copy of that for us? I do, but I only have one because I didn't realize that it wasn't the same as what everyone had down here, to be honest. Okay. It's identical to this, right? So it's identical to 30. I can read it exactly to you guys, so we'll let someone else read yeah, it. Yeah, why don't you read it? We have it, but for the record, we need to note that the article we have is 29. Okay. And this one. We will assume your copy is correct as yeah. number 30. Yeah, Last see? night we did 29 and 30. We've gone through yeah, 31. Yeah. You may see it, yes. Correct, correct it to what? It's already, already been made. It's different than your guys' You might want to read it. It looks like it has a, some additional information. I, was going to read it. Maybe. I, think I move Selectman's Warren article entitled Full Time. No one seconded yours. Yes, Mike Pierce. Yes, Mike did. did. Then I can't do anything. That's right. Oh, boy. That's going to be one of those nights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. That's why I didn't, I didn't know if anyone let's, let's get together. You guys are good? Yeah. Would you like me to read? Oh, I'm going to do that. Please read it, Sandy. Please read it so we know. <laughs> why don't you let Christy read the new oh, one Christy, can I? All right. All right. Can we kind of settle Christy down can. a little bit so we can get through this tonight? Okay. Sandy, would you please read the Warren article? Okay, so it, it's numbered Article 30, full-time fire prevention secretary. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $45,365 to bring the fire prevention secretary position to a 40 hour per week full time status? This shall be a non lapsing appropriation per RSA 32,076 and shall not lapse until the hiring is complete or by March 31st, 2017, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. No. Warrant article figured, present, figure presented is for 39 weeks from April 1st to December 31st, 2016. The annual cost thereafter is $60,486. I'll move the above. She already, wore, she already moved it. I, I'm moving it. It has to be moved so we can run it. Oh, I'm, oh, oh. She moved it. You okay, I'll second, second it then. There Physical go. impact, no finance department, the estimated 2016 tax impact on $45,365 is zero. 
It's for a 1,000 valuation. Zero? It's not zero. Christina put those in. I haven't filled in the notes. Oh, it's my God. Zero okay, so don't, there's, we don't know what the tax impact is. Point zero one six. Oh, I'm sorry. Zero point six. Like zero I said, these just came across my desk, and I haven't six. been back one at point it. 1.6 pennies per thousand. Yeah. But it's zero one six. Per thousand. Point zero one six. Yeah. Okay. Add it to the rest of the okay. people. Thank you. So that's the first one we have with the tax impact. Yeah. That's right. No, the statins. The only one. Oh, Let's get on with it. All right. Well, point zero one you six uh, on the one. thousand. I can tell you that that would probably be the biggest bargain you're going to get here in the town of Hampton, because this fire prevention secretary's position is responsible for coordinating the office of fire prevention. Uh, for all of the business billing, for all of the business permitting, for all of the um, recording of documentation. As you may have heard through many of the Board of Selectmen meetings, there's discussion about uh, room and meals tax. They bring that up and they bring a number up. And when they do so, they usually use the term 300, or they, they use the number 353 businesses qualify for room and meals tax. That's just businesses that qualify for that. They all require an inspection. They all require filing. They all require documentation. Uh, currently, we're on a list, and um, my fire prevention secretary, the part-time position, um, has been working 20 hours a week, and we are we have caught up tremendously, as many of you know from uh, from the last time I saw you. Um, we we had a tremendous backlog. We've caught up, and we've done a really tremendous job of of marketing that area and moving forward so that the businesses don't have to wait. There's no more lag time. However, this is a proactive firefighting. This isn't. Uh, you call us because it's burning. Instead, we're going out to make sure that the code's being enforced so that buildings are safer. In order to do that, we have to record that we've gone there. We have to record that the buildings have done the appropriate um, tasks to make them safer. Uh, to that end, we get plans on new construction, site files. We get architectural plans. They all have to be filed. They have to be documented. Um, any business in town that has a hood needs to be cleaned. We need to have documentation to prove it. We're moving forward in the Fire Prevention Bureau because of this position, I can guarantee you that. Um, the organization in the office has has gone up um, exponentially. I can't tell you what it looked like before. It, it looks like my desk now, if you were to come see my desk now. She's done a tremendous job in that room of just organizing things. Um, payments are being made with a fee schedule that the Board of Selectmen proposed and, and passed in February, and those payments are being logged and they're being deposited on time. Last year at this time, we were months behind in even depositing checks. So we've come so far, it's, it's really, it's unfathomable to see the change. Um, the fire prevention secretary sits right up front. If you've been to 141 Econet Road, our fire station over there, that's the front office next to fire alarm. That's our business office. <clears throat> fire alarm operators are extremely busy people. They answer the call if there's a medical emergency, if there's a fire, um, just day-to-day -day business calls they're handling. But when it comes to coming in for permits, that goes to the fire prevention bureau. Having somebody at that window all open hours is extremely important because if not we're missing business personnel so this position is responsible for answering that call um, when I talk about the 353 I'll come back to that now I began with that those businesses require inspections they need to be categorized they need to be made scheduled so we aren't going to go into them randomly um, as you might know down at the beach there's several businesses that close for most of the season in order to get into those businesses, we have to call them, we have to schedule with them, and it's a very short window between the time that they prepare to open and the time that they do open. So we have to schedule all of that, and that falls on the Fire Prevention Secretary. She's extremely important to our organization, and having a full-time position would maximize our leverage on, on making this a better organization, especially for the business community. I'll answer any questions you have. Them? Have none. None on the table? Yeah, I got This person is making <clears throat> over $21 an hour right now. Negative. Well, I mean, it's, I'm looking at what she's making and I'm divided by the hours. No, that's that's full-time position that you're looking at. I believe her salary right now is fourteen forty-six, and Christy, you may have that. It's, it's fourteen forty-six an hour. Right? It is fourteen forty-six. Is that right, ma'am? It's close it's in that ballpark. I yeah. do know that. It's a union position. <coughs> it is. It falls under thirty seventeen, and currently I. And it's in the 14 range, and it's the lowest salaried in the department. Why didn't we, uh, for some reason I got 21, I'll have to check my math, but uh, why didn't we just go to 28 hours a week instead of 40? I believe that this position warrants 40. Um, to go up an 8 right now, um, I don't know that I would be able to get a part-time 
position uh, to fill the extra eight hours. Ms. Welsh, who is currently our fire prevention secretary, has another part-time job, so she's unable to leave that one for a continuance of a part-time job. See. Now, would she be in a group one or two retirement fund? One. One. Group one. I mean, it is 1446. I did have my breakdown sheet down there. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. She is currently making 1446. Right. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, a group one, right? Yes. <clears throat> she's already under our schedule for uniform allowances, so she's already receiving uniforms, too, so that wouldn't increase. Yeah. Uh, I'm just uh, philosophically grease adding uh, against adding many more full time. And I understand that, but if you talk to Mr. Tinker, as I have recently, um, the changes that are occurring, we're at $3.1 billion protected property in this town. Now, I talked about the numbers lightly, but when we start to look at that, $3.1 billion, the growth that's occurred, the exponential growth, it's been a straight up line if you look at a bell curve right now. It, it, all you have to do is drive down the beach, right? 581 Accountant Road, 128 Ashworth Ave, 14 N Street, 30, 31 through 33 Ocean Boulevard. 377 Ocean Boulevard. These are huge, enormous structures. We are no longer just waiting until everything's done, going in, touring it, and leaving. We're doing rough inspections. We're doing permitting for fire sprinkler, fire alarm. The growth that's occurring is requiring us to do more. It just really is. Is she going to go out and, 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 and essentially start inspecting uh, property? She is not going to be inspecting. She's not a firefighter. Now I'm, well, I'm done with my questions. Okay. Now this, I'm sorry, 60000 is a projected salary for four years. I believe that also includes, if I'm not mistaken, that also includes all other incidentals. I did, I just stole it from you. That 60000 includes all the That's retirement, health, and associated personnel costs? I believe that was what we were trying to put it forward at, right? Right, but the, he's asking about the 60 being complete. That's also, that's also other what, Does that include? Yes. That includes... <laughs> Her salary, Social Security, Medicare, retirement, health insurance, dental insurance, life insurance, and workers' comp. So a complete package. Yes, yeah. that's a complete package. The salary is $36,067.20. Sorry, I just gave him my cheat sheet. You can have it back, ma'am. Uh, the other one will read it. Okay. <laughs> no. He doesn't want the number. <laughs> Uh, just to go on public record, I, would, I definitely support this. Um, I have been dealing with the fire department on both sides of it. My sister's a fire alarm operator down there. I see how busy they are. I know how mis busy Ms. Welsh is. Um, but having worked down the beach last summer um, and trying to coordinate with the department to get a uh, assembly permit, one of the many permits that you do that I found out at your last visit, um, my boss vehemently expressed how much smoother the process was um, from years past to this year moving forward. And um, I, I, I applaud the efforts that uh, your department is doing to accompany our seasonal businesses down the beach. It's, you know, you get a bad winter or a late winter like we had last year with a lot of rain or schools let out differently. These businesses are trying to squeeze every dollar out every weekend they can. And every day they can get open quicker, they will try to do that. Um, a lot of times in the years past, it's, it's been hung up on that, and that process has gotten exponentially smoother last year um, from several businesses that I've talked to. Um, so I can already see how her position is affecting it, and I can only imagine that if this goes through, it will affect it even more um, to streamline the process and make it more efficient. I fully support this article. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. Mike? Um, how long has she had this position? Now? She was hired February 9th of 2015. Okay. So you're saying... Am I hearing everything correctly? Everything really improved tremendously the last year. And she, there was nobody doing that function before, correct? Uh, for an interim. We had a fire, fire prevention secretary that um, resigned in July. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I won't get into the reasons that she, that was her decision to do so, but she resigned. So that position was vacant from July through February. We started the hiring process, I believe, in November. So it took us about uh, six weeks to do all of the, the corresponding testing and, and background checks. So. And was the fire prevention secretary full-time or part-time? Part-time. So I guess what I'm getting at is if everything's going so well now, leave it alone. I mean, why, why rock the boat? If we're doing fine now, why add any more expense to the 
if, if we look at a simple um, permanent assembly, as Mr. Bartle just brought up, a permanent assembly causes us to go out and inspect for life safety. Uh, it causes us to inspect the, the fire alarm system, the sprinkler system, and also the hoods if there's a restaurant involved. Um, seasonally, we do this once a year. All other businesses, we do this once a year. By law, we're supposed to be doing all the businesses that aren't seasonal twice a year. We're unable to fulfill that role alone right now. Um, so it's not that we're, we are making great strides here. We really are. We could do so much better if we had the adequate personnel to do it. Well, the, the, what, the thing, the point that Nick brought up, which I appreciate, uh, everybody knows that does business at the beach every year, they know the beach is going to open roughly a certain date. If they don't plan ahead, that's part of doing business. You plan your business to get the inspections, give you plenty of time to get the inspections done, and I can't see any urgency. I mean, they were playing a little bit last year. I understand that because there's some other issues going on at the same time, but this year there's nothing going on like that. So I have no, no relatively, uh, no concern directly, and what I've heard indirectly is everything's going fine. So I'm all set the way it is. Thank you. Uh and I appreciate what you're saying, Mr. Pierce. Uh, one of the things that you just said, though, is that they complained a little. They didn't. They complained a lot. Complained we had a, a lot, lot of problems in town. And there's another p component, and I don't, you know, I'm not going to put any more on the business owner than I have to. Um, certainly, they could call us a little early, whatever it might be. But a lot of these business owners, they're not locals. They come in for a little while, you know, they do their business, and then they go elsewhere. A lot of them summer and in, um, winter in Florida. So they're not going to come up earlier, especially when we have a winter like we did last year, to attend to a business that they can't open anyway. They're not going to take off the boards until they're ready to do so. And then trying to fit everybody into a two-week span is really difficult. Additionally, as you might know, I mean, you've lived on the beach a long time. It's not often um, some of the businesses, and I won't say it that way, some of the businesses don't remain. So they come in the first year, and they're there, and we do the inspection. The next year, it's somebody else who's the owner. So they're not able to just say, all right, I need to call the fire department and get them there on time. They don't have experience with that. They've never been there. It's a new ice cream stand versus an old t-shirt shop, whatever it might be. So there's a lot of variables that go into this. And with the, the changes that have occurred, 339 Ocean Boulevard, it's all commercial underneath with residential above. 275 Ocean Boulevard, commercial underneath, resident, residential up above. Each one of these requires an interaction with our business office to, to operate. They really do. Inspections, all of this. Uh, yearly inspections, maintenance inspections, these all require some sort of interface, and this office is the way they do it for the business portion for the fire department. Mm -hmm. Mike, just want to add, having been in the business down there, um, while it was being said that there weren't any complaints, and this is going back to when I worked for U.S. Food Service, there were a lot of complaints down there. <clears throat> and one of the problems that I think will never be resolved is the seasonality of the business, and then beyond the seasonality of the business is the weather within the season. Like this last year, where you know we might think spring starts towards the end of March, it didn't. St we had snow on the ground in May, and that creates a bigger crunch. And on top of that, a lot of the work that needs to get done, they don't even have people hired in in March and, and April. So it does become a crunch, and as long as we're a seasonal community, that's never, I don't ever see that getting resolved because nothing, weather doesn't cooperate, and it does back it up, and we have a lot more eateries than we had, you know, even two, three years ago, right now, for the sake of needing inspections. So I just. I think uh, the phrase there is that uh, spring is a great day in New England. Yeah, it is. You know? So we're, we're looking definitely to fit everybody in, but it's difficult because we're all trying to shoehorn in the most amount of time, uh, and, you know, they want to be open. Yeah. They don't want to prepare to open. Yeah. They want to be open. So and that I, takes a lot. The only thing I want to add to that, James, is that I think that a lot of people think, well, okay, well, you know, you've got to plan for it, and if you're in business as an owner, you have to plan. Yeah, no, they've got all those things that they're up against, but on top of that, if they're not open, regardless of what the reasons are, then our locals aren't employed. So that's, it's like a dominoes. There's another side to this, too, which is code enforcement. And, you know, she's, um, the, the position itself is really important. I don't, I don't want to talk about a person. I want to talk about the position. Um, but Ms. Welsh, uh, in particular, has taken it upon herself to do a lot of study with code. And so our preparation for the businesses and, and contractors, building owners that are coming forward, 
She's done a lot of research to make sure that our forms are completely code compliant and so that they understand it better. Mm -hmm. um, if you look across the nation right now, there's an awful lot of things going on in the fire world. As of this morning, uh, today alone, in the last 24 hours, according to the United States Fire Administration website, six fire deaths were, were reported in 24 hours. On Tuesday morning, there were 12 residential fire deaths. That's 18 people that died in, in residential fires. Mm -hmm. This all comes to code. This comes to that. So there's a component of the job that we need to get our fire prevention officer, who is Bill Payne, doing an outstanding job. Um, he, he needs to go do his job, but he needs to go do the job. He can't be setting the schedule and the time frame to do the job. He can't be permitting because that's the function of the administrative assistant. The secretary should be scheduling him, okay, you go here, you go there. And she's doing that right now, but the volume is about to hit, and we know that. I'm, we're going to look at the end of April. We are going to be unbelievably busy in that office. So, you know, this position is, is, is extremely vital to our organization. So she's doing three days a week now? She's doing five days a week, part-time. So she comes in Monday afternoon at 2, Tuesday at 2, Wednesday at 2, Thursday at 8 a.m. till noon, and Friday 8 to 2.30. Steven? You run a well-managed, very lean department. If you're asking, this is the only thing you've asked for. You haven't said, I need two more firemen or four more firemen. And I know that <clears throat> you have nine people on. Yes, sir. 24 hours a day protecting us. Um, I am completely for doing this. If you ask for it, you need it because you don't ask for you. You're not running an operation that's got all kinds of fat in it. No, sir. You know, it's a nice, lean, well-managed department. So, if you need this, I'm fully for it. Thank okay. you, sir. You're welcome. I like on on the uh, wages, uh, Chief. Jerry. Yeah. Can we go in order? Okay. Bob had his hand up. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Uh, just a couple of other considerations I'd like to throw out there. One, the business community is very beneficial from a revenue point of view to the town. It doesn't produce a lot of students in the school system. Half of the year it doesn't produce any waste treatment issues, recycling or rubbish pickup issues. It isn't open. Further, the image of the town and how it's treating the existing present businesses has an enormous impact on the ability to attract other businesses to the town. These people in business all talk to each other, and if we are making it difficult or slow for them to conduct their business, other people are going to know about it and be less willing to become part of the town. Thank you. Yeah, my, my point uh, before on the wage is the book and the budget shows this position at 22000 558 for the year and that breaks down to 433 a week and if you divide by that 20 it comes up to $21.69 an hour. She, I can tell you right now Mr. Sonoy she's being paid 14.46 an hour. And the and book if is like wrong. I'll grab her pay stub but I know she she's being paid. That would put it around 15k a year as opposed to uh, 22558. Just wanted to make sure I I, I didn't it comes to what? I just want to if it's about 15k uh, if you if you multiply uh, 1446 as a member of the of the 20. union obviously she would fall under the negotiations of the union so any type of, of salary changes that's not in my purview anyway that's up to the negotiating committee the town manager and the board of selectmen to decide so uh, the, what was the number you said Jerry? 20 something? yeah the book has got it at 22558 22, and if you divide by 52 that's 40 that's 433 a week divided by 20 is 2169. She also was not hired for the entire year, 15, just so you know. She started on February 9th. Yeah. Well, I mean, they got it in here now for at, uh, 20 hours a week, 52 weeks a year. How much revenue did the position bring in? Well, that's a really good question. Her position doesn't generate revenue, but through um, Mr. Welch and the Board of Selectmen, they, they uh, basically tasked us with develop, developing a fee schedule that was more compliant or at least more <laughs> in line with what the... Um, the today's standards are. So uh, it, when we did that, it was on February 12th that it got implemented. Um, we began tracking, and up to that point, from January 1st to February 12th, we uh, took in $495, I believe. And since that point, we've taken in 21000 and change. That's money we didn't have before? That's absolutely money we did not have before. Thank you. You're welcome. Two. 
meeting next time. Um, <clears throat> just to, to clear the fog in terms of what we're doing here, we had a high time fire prevention secretary for forever. Before I got here. That's forever. Yep. <laughs> in my eyes, yeah. And now we want to go full time. Correct. The new person that we hired in this position, effective in 2013, uh, has caused a tremendous change in the organization. Right? Agreed. Prior to her arrival, there was considerable degree of disorganization for years. There, uh, there was, yes. And four years, there was a delaying of getting licenses by businesses primarily on the beach as a consequence of that disorganization. For those same years, it had been argued over and over that what wasn't needed was organization. That wasn't even on the radar. What was argued was we needed another fire inspector. It turns out once we got a secretary that came in to do more efficient organization, the need for that fire inspector seems to have gone away. Given that in 2015, there has been no issues relative to the timeliness of getting license renewed. I would, in I fact, would count on that point. the Board of actually did have a warrant article out to put a fire, an initial fire inspector in, and they took it out of the warrant on the basis that things seem to be fine now that things are more organized at the fire department because of this particular hire. So on, on your points, I would say that um, because of the organization, we are absolutely uh, operating at a much more efficient uh, standard. Um, the fire inspector is absolutely essential, and here's why. I've already well, told you that we're missing out on one inspection I'm per not year. Not because, about the fire right, fire. neither am I. But you brought it up. So at the no, end of the I'm day, the we can't. Why the, well, She's the, the Yep. Chose not to put uh, I can't speak for that. As a demonstration of how efficient the organizational skills that this new person has brought to bear. There has been no problem. That has been a problem for years. There has. Um, one of the things that's not being represented, though, uh, Deputy Kennedy and myself, we were responsible for the inspections. So uh, Bill Payne, who was the fire prevention officer, was hired uh, August 10th of this year, right? He was promoted to that position August 10th. Uh, prior to that, the deputy and I were doing all the inspections. That was two of us going out full time to reduce that backlog. Currently now, we're still going to have to do that because we don't have a fire inspector coming. That that position still needs to be filled, so it has to be filled by someone. So it's going to be filled by us. Um, the organization, though, and if it, you know anybody who has a a world class secretary will tell you that they could put anything in front of you. You just sign it, right? So I could be signing for a new car for her, but she does this and she schedules us. She says, "You go here, you go there, you go there." We all do it. And that's our job to go do the job, but she has to make sure that we are re ready to do the job. She has all the proper documentation so that we can go out and do the inspections. There's actually, you know, there's three people doing this job right now of inspection. In this season, Bill Payne's doing it alone um, because we're in a slow season. Keep talking about season. What are you, what, what, what are you referring to? When you say April, season? May, June, July. April, that's going to be May, huge. June, July. Then four months. Nope. Then we're going to see fall. In the fall, we have transitioned to the permanent assembly. We have moved a lot of them to the fall because we were hammered so hard in the beginning that we were unable to keep up. So the, the, the yearlies, for lack of a better term, the one, the businesses uptown, um, we try to get in there in the fall. We try not to do uh, fours or, or restaurants up there on Route 1 uh, at the same time that we're opening at the beach because it's just it's too monumental a task. So what we're trying to do is spread it out. What Stephanie has done, in particular, has gotten um, proactive in the approach. She's now email. She's now sending uh, snail mail. We call it right hard mail to the businesses to let them know what they need. Gives them the permit um, applications in advance, and we return. Understand that the problem was a problem that was previously stated in other meetings. Yes, was that you can only issue annual licenses. You cannot issue seasonal licenses. So the license is always for a twelve month period. Is that true? I don't know which ones you're talking about. When you mean permit of assembly? Well, I'm, I guess I'm speaking about uh, all the licenses that you are engaged in, particularly with regard to opening up businesses at the beach. Right, which I don't license. Um, what we do is we give a permit of assembly, so we have to go make sure that life safety is taken care of in the build building like that. So we give a certificate. Basically, we do the inspection. We say, yes, they're compliant. And then we issue a permit of assembly, so now they can have... For 12 months only. It is. You can't issue one for nine months. You can't issue one for 18 months. It has to be 12 months, right? They're currently a year. We have done uh, temporary. Uh, Smarty Nose has had events where they've done a one-time event, 
and we've gone to inspect it and done you know done a temporary permanent assembly based on the fire protection engineers calling for whatever the so could you issue a <coughs> well we could I, I i i'd have to go back to the code on that i'm not sure what the what the state law rsa's dictate on that we have safe c6000 i don't, I don't know off the top from, of my head. from uh, testimony that was given in 2014 when, when there were discussions about all of the complaints that were coming in in 2014 mm. um, that one of one of more people believed it was <coughs> I'm sorry I can't <coughs> I believe it was selectmen primarily okay. that were inquiring uh, why you couldn't uh, issue a permit uh, in, you know, earlier in the year or later in the year uh, to some of the businesses to smooth out the distribution of the licensing activities and we have and the answer was we can't do that because it's based on things like their elevation uh, elevator certificates okay and other factors I see what like you're, that. sure and i understand what you say so i can't require people to do work that they've already done i can't ask them to do a second test in a year or anything like that so if if a business has come along and they've had their elevator um test everybody gets a state test um we get one at the at the brown avenue fire station the the cost of that is is borne by the business owner so they're only able to do that every 12 months as far as fire alarms they can inspect them every day if they want to they can inspect sprinkler systems every day there's a cost associated with that to the business owner though so for us to uh to give a permanent assembly all of the tests for a sprinkler for um fire alarm system if they have a hood the cleaning if they have an elevator the, that um they all have to be in in advance the to get to mr pierce's point the business has to be set up as it's going to be uh, during so the opening. If I had an elevator certificate issued to me on April 1st, yep. and I call you in on May, yep. and I want an occupancy mm -hmm. permit. We're good. It's going to give me a 12 month certificate until next May, even though my elevator certificate expires in April. Yep, because I'm not the elevator company. You're going to have them come back in, and then when we come back to May, I'll have already, Stephanie, but we'll have already sent out the application. different from what I understood from okay. the discussions that took place in 2014. Okay. That's a while ago. Uh, so you're able to now distribute the licensing activity uh, more broadly so you don't have the crunch time in the spring, which is really was the big issue in prior years, correct? We've done that. Right. Yep. So it was really the spring time crunch that was killing the guys. And that now, was that was spread be, that out. Yeah, that was huge. We've also, with this new person uh, in the old position, the new person in the old position, with her organizational skills, that's just added to your ability to uh, satisfy the... Uh, the need of the public to get the licensing issued in a timely fashion. Sure. Is that fair? Yeah. We okay. started a new task because we haven't done anything in uh, the businesses that don't require a permanent assembly or a hood inspection if they're not a restaurant. We we do something called site files. So if we responded to a business, pick a business. I don't care what. I don't need you to describe how right. it became more organized. I'm just well, no, but this is moving forward. We haven't completed this task yet either. Um, we have a lot of businesses that we don't know anything about. They've, ex they've existed, but they didn't come to us other than, you know, the, the first day. So right now, we have to get on site files, and that's what she's doing here. We're moving forward with that. I, I, have, no, I have no doubt. Gentlemen, if you pardon my interruption, I think we've discussed this. Thank you. Quite a bit. We get the He's almost finished, ma'am. So I think most of us get up. the picture. Wrap it up, please. Tim? I've been shut down. Oh, no, she's, no, I'm she's asking that we, we just expedite this conversation. Could you wrap it up, please? Andrew? I'm done. I've been shut down. Okay, let's, let's, let's All right. We've had a conversation on anyone who hasn't asked a question. Okay. We have the motion out. Um, all those in favor of this warrant article? Okay. Opposed? Abstain. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good Chief. Have a good night. Thank you. Chief, nice job. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. here tonight so it was nine two and one
Okay. All right, now I'd like to move on to the budget. Christy, why don't you come down because we're probably going to be bouncing number questions off you. We've had so many revisions. Hmm? Hmm? Can I can I make a motion? We don't even know the number though, do we? Yeah, we do. Do we? We need to know that we need to define the um, final number on the proposed budget. Do we have that now? Well, we have it showing in the book. I just want to make sure that we're both on the same page with the same number. Okay. Things have been sort of floating along here. <laughs> That's uh, why I think, Chris, do you need to make sure, give us the final number that you have. It's most updated. I'm, I don't mean to, sorry. Right. No, sorry, that's, I'm, I'm good on that. Five, num number 5, number 5, I think the number showing is 15,200 lighter. No, no, no. The, fine, the, the whole budget number. Yeah. The whole proposed budget number, which should yeah, be 26 yeah. million. Yeah, it's 20, the full, from what I see, 26, 696, 073, yeah. plus the 15, 2, would bring it to 26, 711, 273. That's why I'm asking, Christy, what is that whole see. number? Can you give it to us? Yeah, we need it. Okay. <laughs> the Board of Selectmen budget that has been approved all the way through the process of theirs is $26,696,073. I went to them on Monday night. And then I had forwarded to you guys the right. recommendation. So when you add, if the budget committee chooses to put those numbers in, the board of selectmen, well, they can't, they're not going to change their budget now. So then it, the total budget would be, I believe it's the second number Jerry gave you, but let me get to the page since you want to make sure that it's right. It is $26,000,000. $886,962. Give it us one more time. $26 million. Mm -hmm. $886,962. Okay. And for the record, because we've got a lot of things floating, yes. can you break down that differential? I know you gave yes, it to us. Yep. I will break it down. I'm just going to read right off of here so I don't get anything okay. wrong. Can though, you okay? give it to us line by line so we I can will. now add this and make sure what yep. we have in our book corresponds with where they ended up? Yep. And I can probably even tell you what page it is on your OBS if you'd like at the same Please. time. Would that help? Yes. Okay, let me find the right page for us first. It's under municipal insurance, the first two changes. Yep. And I will read the whole account number for you. It's uh, on page. OBS. I'm sorry. I said OBS I would say seven. That. OBS seven. Okay. It's account uh, the three zeros and then four one nine six one five two zero zero. It's liability and general insurance. Uh -huh. The new amount is four hundred and thirty thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. You want me to give you all the lines first, and then I can go back and tell you how I came to those numbers, so that we don't get confused. Yeah, I think what well, are as you long as we can plug the numbers in, okay, to the appropriate lines while we're here, okay, while it's being recorded. The next one is also in that same section. Okay. It's four one nine six nine two six zero zero, and it's workers' compensation. Uh -huh. And the new amount is, or the adjusted amount is five hundred and seventy-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Right. This happens to be the same number as the default budget. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That is a good point. It is the same number as the default budget. Yes. And then let me find where the next one is. The next one is under public work, so it's going to be down a little bit. Let me just find the right page for you. Uh, before we move on, just, uh, why don't we uh, total the municipal insurance while we're there at Christie? I can do that for you. You got it right here at your fingertips. Yep, I have it uh -huh. right here. Mm -hmm. And we can do general government too, please. Okay, OBS seven. Let's see. Municipal insurance is uh, three million 
$949,269. Okay. I'll give everyone a chance to write it, and then I'll... And then that brings general government down to... Nine million two hundred and twenty-five thousand three hundred and twenty-five dollars Can I ask a question? Yep. Christy, the municipal insurance I'm looking at the spreadsheet that you included with the fall budget. Yes. The municipal insurance reads uh, 39491.33. And the default. Why is the proposed different than the default? Let's see. The total line, you mean? Um, let's see where the difference is there. That's a good question. Because um, mm -hmm. when the budget was made, I have an answer for you. Okay. When the budget was made, I'm confident of that. <laughs> when we were. Uh, when we were making the budget, we had to do on the NHMA dues line. If you look at that line, it's 17162 Yes. We didn't actually have the figure. When we called at that point, they had said that they were expecting about a 5% increase. Since then, we've actually gotten the bill, and the amount is $17,027. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that is the amount that was put into the default. Because that's the amount that we will be paying for dues. 17027 Yes. Okay, so that, that was another change. That number, that's another change. Yeah, so one okay. was proposed, and that's the actual. Right. Okay, yeah. so the so that should that line, the fifty six hundred should change to seventeen thousand oh seven oh twenty seven, which would then make the new total. It would equal the default budget somehow, yes. Tim. Correct. Yeah, if we as a committee make the motion. To right, the board did not shoot change. Did not change that number. <laughs> If the budget committee would like to change that number. So you make a motion, Stephen, and someone will no doubt second it. Okay, I make a motion that we change that number, um, 5,600 NHMA dues, to the new number, $17,027, and that would go under the Bud Common Deliberative Column I, which will then bring the total to the number that you see under the default, uh, column J, which is three million nine hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred and thirty-three dollars. Oh, wait a minute. A few minutes ago, I had two sixty-nine. I had two sixty-nine. She just read it up. Mm. Yeah, well, that was the proposed. The default is what he just read. I understand. But he said it'd be the same. That will be. No, that, that, For the budget we'll committee column, same. he's talking about. Now it makes it the same. Okay. Can I try to rephrase for you? If you would. <laughs> Please. Legally speaking, the only thing that goes on the warrant or the actual line, not the sublines, right? Yes. So I'm going to change, make a motion to change uh, account 4196, which is called municipal insurance, mm -hmm. and move that to be three million nine hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred thirty-three dollars. I'll second it. I, I will remove my. I'll remove go. my original motion and second it. Same motion. How's that? Less detail. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Thank okay. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think that needs discussion. All those in favor? So. Right. Opposed on that. Just changing those numbers so that they correspond both columns. So which which one is the correct number then? The new the new the new proposed budget number for for that municipal section. insurance mm -hmm. is. Three million nine hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred and thirty-three bucks, which matches the default. I understand that. It's not supposed to match. I have no problem with that part. Well, that is the new number. I understand that. The proposed that part. budget should the number should be the same as the default. I agree with that. I'm not debating. Right. I'm just trying to figure out how you came up with that number. That's how we did the number it. by force fitting it. Oh, okay. No, I know what he's saying. <laughs> we added it up. No, well, no. Christy gave us three million nine hundred forty-nine thousand two hundred and sixty-nine dollars. We just so, changed it. Well, we just changed it. But which one are you giving us? The one thirty-three or the two sixteen? Uh, one thirty-three. It now comes. Tim motion they made is it's now one thirty-three. I know that that's the motion he made. He made. I made trying, a motion I'm to change the end. Steve, I'm trying to sort that. out the number that Christy gave us right. versus. I was the, giving you the number that was the Board of Selectmen's budget, because I wasn't talking about the default. Then Tim pointed out that the default was different, asked why. I'm, I'm lost, Christy. Okay. All right. When you said a total of the municipal insurance, you were still talking about the number under the default, the new numbers. 
and you gave us three million. Anybody got to calculate it? Add up what I, that is. I, I well, I thought we were talking about the board of selectmen's budget, so I apologize. I no, the board. When I gave you the yeah, first the board number. is we're not. I understand that the numbers that are in the default budget are also the same in the Board of Selectmen's budget. They weren't. No. They that's weren't. The point. They weren't. Some so of which one items, is different? Some of, the, some of these line items are out of sync relative to the Board of Selectmen's votes. See, this All, is what this last right motion here. did was make the municipal insurance line item synchronize with the uh, most recent Board of Selectmen's vote on both the proposed and the default yeah. budget. I added up all I the line items and they come out right. to that number. Yes. We do 133? Yeah. Yes. 133? Okay. okay. So the 269 is right? in error. Or you want to modify I lean to answer your question. The line that changed was the NHMA dues. That's where the difference was. Right. That's right. all I was trying to explain. But I'm seeing that on the default side. You are. Okay. I was just going with what you gave as the end of 269, which was not the end of the column on the municipal insurance on the BOS. Mike, I know what where you were. Okay. Oh, we voted. In, in what, what was right, we're vote? done. We're done with that. We're done with it. Okay. Can I make another motion, please? If I may make a point of information, just to sort of all we're saying out here. Okay. <laughs> all we are doing, all we can do, is change line items, not subline items. So changing subline items don't mean anything, except to the extent that they affect the line item. I disagree with you in this mm -hmm. case. Is are these fixed now? These numbers are they still in flux? They are. In Christie. Insurance I didn't say number? anything insurance about number. being fixed. No. Why don't you let me finish, Tim? Because I wasn't allowed to finish. <laughs> it's quarter of eight, guys. Yeah, it's exactly. We're not going to be here two no, days. let's not do this. Please. All right. Christy, on these numbers, on the insurance numbers, yes, which was going to be my answer. question as we went along, are these final numbers? We are not going to have all of our quotes and all of our final numbers back in time we probably won't even have them back by deliberative if we do have them back by deliberative then we will make them known so what we have done and i explained it in the memo and i can explain it now if you'd like oh, me to. i understand so what we did is we had at the time when i put this together for the board of selectmen we had received one quote um insurance quote back from one vendor so what we did with that quote is we took the quote and we added 25 percent to the quote the reason that we added the 25 percent to the quote is because, first of all, we did not have a side-by-side -side when they came in to present their, they were just in like right before Christmas, I believe, or right after. I think it was right the week after Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's. When they were in, they could not give us a side-by-side -side comparison to see, make sh to guarantee us that they were giving us all of the exact same coverage that we have with PLT. So Fred and I discussed it and based on the fact that we do not know for the quote isn't firm because we don't know if it has all of the coverage nor do we know um, we have to get a cost for tail coverage to cover um, incidents between co the coverage types could be different um, occurrence and claims based and based on that we don't have that cost of that coverage either they have to get back to us with that so with those two things to take into consideration and in having to bring forward a budget and a default budget we, like I said, took the quote and added 25% to both of those lines. Have they been given a deadline of sorts to get to us before deliberative session? Um, we have, um, I don't know if we gave, do we give them an official deadline? I mean, I know they're working on it, but I don't know. Told it before yeah, I believe that they do know that they need okay. to get back to us. So my point being on this, these are estimates or guesstimates, if you want to put it that way. They are not fixed numbers. Yeah, they right. are not definite. But they will ch they're a non-issue of sorts because they will change on both sides of the equation. The only difference is whether or not they change before deliberative. We strongly hope they do. We were hoping to have it be so that we could change that your public hearing, but that isn't looking like that it's going to happen. So Fred is right. We did express to them when the deliberative is so that it could be changed on the floor of the deliberative. Okay. And I'm, I talk to them almost daily, especially. And usually I don't care about the subline items in that great a detail except that for the sake of us tracking the numbers as we're sitting there at deliberative i feel it's important that we get them right in this particular section because these are not final numbers thank you thank all of you for bearing with yes Tim, you can finish i was saying the only thing that goes on the water is the actual line items not the sub line items so legally that's what we need to put out for motion to motion to go to the 
what they choose to do in terms of sublight items is entirely a management decision. We got nothing to do with it. Relative to some of the sublight items, however, that of course does justify the bottom line line item. So that is has some value, but not the most. Relative to this particular insurance line item, as I understand it, the issue and variance question is uh, li is the liability and workers' comp. And workers' comp. Those two are the ones. The expiration date of those policies that we presently have? June 30th of, uh, well, actually July 1st, like 1201. So July 1st. June 30th. You, see, you can readily see the problem in getting a quote six months before an expiration of a policy. It's like you know, calling your auto insurance company and saying, well, tell me what the policy is going to cost me in six months. They have a clause. We have to redo everything in April, make sure nothing has changed drastically, and they right. can't you know increase. It's just, it's just kind of evident that it's going to be naturally extremely difficult to get a precise quote this far away from the expiration date of an insurance policy. Okay, so that's perfectly understandable. What is not understandable, except for the one exception I will list in a moment, is adding 25% to what is considered to be a reasonable estimate. We don't know that it's reasonable yet. Well, then why would you make it if it wasn't reasonable? Well, because we're using the quote, but we haven't had a chance to compare it side by so side, like reason, I said. There's and there's some reason for the number. And, 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 and it's a reasonable And we're adding 25% to that. And the reason why we're adding 25% to that is because, well, gee, we don't want to underfund it, right? Because what happens if we underfund it, we might not have the money to pay for it, correct? We have to pay for unless, it. Unless we decide, to say, town management decides or selectman decides to take that into a, a label it as an emergency, funnel it to the board selectman, have it come to the budget committee for us to approve it as an emergency expenditure because it was underfunded, and then get the blessing from the DRA, which is virtually automatic when you go through the board selectman and the budget committee getting approval. So instead of wanting to go through, or even risk the possibility of going through that process, we'll just add 25% more than we think we really need. That's how I see why that 25% increase is in there. And you can all yell and scream at me if you wish, but I think that's a quite rational way of seeing why we're adding in potentially more than we really reasonably think is going to be needed. Madam Chair, uh, very complex legal contract uh, to secure municipal insurance. The PLC has been awarded out of business. Uh, the director, the town manager, the town attorney are very diligently on this. It is perhaps the most important good uh, that the town will purchase with uh, taxpayer citizen dollars. Uh, it's not a good job. Mr. Jones raises with questions. It does appear to be an artificial uh, legal requisite to get information. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that finance and the town manager and the board of select uh, need to do due diligence and make sure that we don't leave gaps in coverage. And uh, the 25 percent will not be uh, spent elsewhere. If it is overestimated, it will simply lose the surplus and identify the sub. Thank you. I want to do the fifth, the other, there was a Wait. one more adjustment. Wait. Let's go. Sorry, go ahead. I, I think just, just to get the bookkeeping straight, so now to the, the general government total changes, okay? So I, would you like me to make a motion that, to change that number? No, that's not a line item. Is it? Well, it's a different, it's a different number now. I mean, look, the subtotal. Right yeah. That's going to change. Mm -hmm. We don't so, need to change subtotals. We're just submitting line okay. items. So you know, no, we wait don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Well, we know what we'll do it at the end of the section. Okay. All right. Okay. They and don't want us to get. Yeah. Okay. Scott, please. please. I don't you're putting these correct. corrections in as we go along. They. What I sent out earlier, oh, to you, um, yeah. had them already in it. That's that's the number we. we yeah. Okay. So this is. He's keeping track. Okay. On the computer. That's so that's the question. Is that do. you're going along okay. with this? You okay. what you have is already changed. Right. But yes. you're. As we're going through this discussion, you're still making <coughs> amendments to what you have there. No, because nothing. There's been we no haven't changed well, anything. I'm sorry yet. that we did with the insurance, so I made that adjustment. That's what yes. I mean. Yeah. Okay. So well, that we'll be able at the end of an entire section to say yeah. to you the total is. Okay. Yes. All right, That's and then we I have the next know. few days to go back and double check, make so. sure that I understand on the insurance, and I do hope that we do see the real numbers at the deliberative session. 
I would think that now that they've made their presentations and they have what we, the information that they need, that they'll be generating a cost on that policy. What's the other change? Uh, have any other changes? I mean, we, we got had the one more change that was sent. Out. There was a sum okay. higher. That's that's already been changed. Fifteen thousand two. In what I sent out, yeah. Okay. You know, I want to change my book now. What is it? Where? It's on OBS fifteen. When you get there, I'll read the account number, Mike, and let you know what it should be. Thank you. Okay, that's OBS the Iowa 15. Equipment Summer. Mm -hmm. It's the 43122-4410. It's uh, HSB Hired Equipment Summer, mm -hmm. and it's 20200 Okay, so in the budget should read the same number, right? Yes. Thank you. So 20200 because we added fifteen thousand two hundred to a five thousand dollar line item, but I guess Scott has already sent that out, right? You said I, you that has is in what I, you did. I did, but it's not it, it's not in it's not your file. No, it's I know, but I'm just saying. So I just want to confuse Mike if he already had it. So, so what is I don't the, know who printed it up either? So what is the, what new, is the new total now? The, the new total, total is total budget. Yes. Yeah. The total budget that 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 I have. Yes. Uh, is is twenty six million eight eight six. Eight two seven. Eight two seven. Okay. Two seven. Great. I do that. This last. Can you read that off again, please? Uh, Twenty-six million. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred and eighty-six thousand. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred and twenty-seven. Could I make a motion, Madam Chair? Mm -hmm. At this time, I would like to make a motion that we pass <clears throat> the budget for twenty-six million eight hundred eighty-six thousand eight hundred and twenty-seven. I second. Thank you. To pass the budget? That that I'm recommending this number. Are you recommending it, Steve, so you can go into discussion? For discussion, yeah. I'm recommending that number. Okay, we've got to start somewhere, right? Uh, we're make I, yeah. okay. I just made the motion. Scott uh, seconded it. Okay. No. We should work from no. here. No, I think we'll take each section. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. We have a motion and a second on the floor. Second. Right? Yeah. I'm sorry? There's a motion and a second on the floor. What's the well, it's time for discussion then. Then I, it will I think open that each. really what we ought to do is go uh, line item, not subline item, line item, which is what I thought we were doing. Yeah. We're yeah. required by a yeah. lot of produce line mm -hmm. items. Right. All right? Whatever, okay. The, 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 the bottom well, line is I made a, motion the bottom line is a function. It would be this correct is discussion to say, on okay. your motion. Yeah, okay. it would be correct to say to open which cannot be done the, bu interruption. the budget for discussion. All right. But, no, not, be but not to pass. Well, we're not going to vote this okay. minute. You might well, that's the word she used. But that's the word she used. So listen to what she said, please. All right. Yeah. I don't want you can open the budget for discussion, and that can be seconded, and then we can open up the budget and go line by line. Give a second. All right. Yes. But you've got a second, so. I would ask you to withdraw the motion to approve and open the budget for discussion. Because otherwise you're going to go down a road to approve $26,886,000. I think that's the right road to go down. That's why I seconded it. So that's exactly what you gentlemen want to do. You yes. want to put that budget, that whole budget up as it is right now. Yes. yes. And, and, that, and I'd like to have a discussion on that. I mean, I... I you want to vote on right now? to discuss it. Without any changes? Well, what's the point in this? What I'm, I, I don't know what you're trying to do. What, what, trying to beat the clock. Well, no, no, you no, want to go home early? Is that, that it? Exactly. It has nothing to do with the clock. What it has to do with is a dysfunctional town government. Where from? This is my first year and only year on this committee. Thank mm -hmm. goodness. But, but uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Is there so? It's just dysfunctional. And I think when we're talking about a twenty-six million, twenty-seven million dollar budget, and you're three hundred thousand dollars apart, we can nitpick it and we can change here and change there. But let's get the budget committee and the selectmen and the town manager and the finance director on, on board. Let's get lockstep and let's sell this budget to the town. And well, what, if we, what if we don't want to? You're well, not, then you vote no. You're, you're, you're not, in the budget not, you're, you can vote no. You are not, not allowing us to even discuss it or manipulate it or we change just, things we think is necessary to change. We've discussed that, this budget this for is, 33 hours with all the department heads. Uh, that's that's your opinion. My opinion is I'm now. not done yet. As the select so has. that is saying that every line on here you guys are okay with. That yes, that's how I feel. I'm okay with passing a that's budget. That's not making a $300,000 difference between the default budget. And so we can we can go 
Okay, Madam Chair, five bucks out of here. There's, there's a motion. There's a second. There's this. There's a motion. There's a there's a section to pass this budget as it is. Twenty six million eight hundred eighty six thousand eight hundred and twenty seven dollars. And I will open that up for discussion, but not review, because of the way this this motion has been worded. Are you willing to accept amendments to the motion to <laughs> decrease or increase? I think we should go around the table and, and fact on what we're doing with this particular motion as it is. Can I say one thing to defend my motion? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, please. We have in, we've been uh, interrogated or interviewed every department head. We have gone over this entire budget, okay? It is a small increase over last year's budget. This they have kept a very, um, as far as I'm concerned, they've trimmed, they've kept it very lean. It's a small percentage over last year's. It's only 300000 over the default budget. And if, if you want to, I feel that we're there. We're there. We've spent a lot of time. Now we're there. So that's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. So And that is your opinion. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. But I will say this. We have gone through this series of workshops with no determinations by this committee on any lines whatsoever. What we have done is we have had presentations, but we have not voted on any particular line. We left it open for this review. This review. That's right. So I think it would be an injustice to say you that and it might be your opinion. There may be nothing we can do in any Just line to change your mind. There may be things in here that might even need an increase. It doesn't necessarily always need a decrease. And $300,000 is not a minuscule amount when a $160,000 increase got turned down a couple of years ago. And we also have things in this budget that we have asked to be moved out of funds. Right. We have actually recommended a couple of the articles come out of the funds so that there is no impact to the taxpayers. Yeah, no so my argument with this particular motion would be to just to prove this number, we had absolutely no input other than a couple of people's of opinions, which you are entitled to. Mm -hmm. But I think in, the, in the, <coughs> the process that we agreed to at the beginning, we said at the end we would go through the entire budget and make our decisions then, and that left all the freedom for everybody to come in and present basically uninterrupted, ah. whatever they wanted to. <laughs> you know, you guys can make this more difficult if you want. All I right. did that by design. Way back in mid yeah. May, yeah. we said we, we would, all agreed to it. We, so we, we would, would listen, problem. and then at all right. the very end, we were around. That's my discussion. This is democracy, so yeah. if we That's vote, my discussion for no vote on the motion it as it is out here right now. If, it doesn't, if my motion doesn't pass, then you can dissect it any six ways you want. Okay. I suggest we table this motion until we get done. Well, it's their motion. And they can't table their motion. So you're not accepting any amendments? Do you have an amendment, Sandy? I don't have an amendment at the moment, but I'm concerned about the conservation. Yeah, and, you know, group and uh, concerned about the welfare group, <clears throat> but I'm not, you know, I'm not throwing out a number to decrease it or increase it. Mm -hmm. I thought we were going to kind of like go around the table. Well, and, that was what we all agreed to. You know, yes. Throw out what we were going to do. I agree. I mean, I have at final few. review. I mean, because you know, seriously, when I was on. And you know, I mean, I've been on the budget committee for a number of years, uh, yeah. and we all, we all, we never did it this way before, and that's fine. You know, it's however anybody wants to do it, and whatever you voted to to do the budget, but it was always whatever. If we were doing the police when they were here, we always made the amendments then. Made the changements as that was occurring. Exactly. Did the thing, and then we went on to the public works or whatever. And so when they walked out the door, they knew, they knew where we were. They knew. Well, they knew where they were, but we were still entitled back then to the review. 
and that is what we did last year. And then when we went into review, we were. I don't know what we were criticized. Is. Mm. We made a decision four months ago, yeah. unanimously, and we would not vote on the line items as presented. We would reserve our motions for line mm. items until final review. And now here we are. Oh, you're changing review. the process of the last night. We have a motion to decapitate that motion that we've been operating under for four months. Mm -hmm. So I do not understand this motion at all. So, you have a vote that you can express that with. Well, if it doesn't pass, I can have. A, I have a tongue to express it with as well. Okay. Yeah, as you see, Mr. Bean. Aye, aye, sir. Oh. I, motion I don't motion quite six. understand this. Uh, you know what? It's a complete reversal from what we we set our path on in, in May or June. Really? I've got, I got about fifteen to twenty recommendations yeah. in total. Okay. It's an effective well, change of the rules. Let's let's make an let's amendment to as we go along now. Each one will be an amendment because we want to play the silly game. We'll have amendments up the yin yang. Don't are you are you afraid that if we take a vote right now that it, my my motion may pass? Am I concerned about it? I think we ought to do it the way we said we we're gonna do it. Scrutinize what we want to scrutinize. We haven't done that yet. You just want to I can make a you motion. say let's go shoot to I the moon. I think it's an invalid motion. Well invalid motion. I don't know. I'm not I would a lawyer. That. I mean, I, we we spent 33 hours devoted to, to interrogating. Was a great word. The, uh, the the department heads that have come in um, was no interrogation. But there was no attempt, Nick, to cut or increase while they were here, and that was the agreement back in May or June. That's what we agreed on. There was no attempt to to adjust their budget while they were here. Let them present. Let us ask our questions. We wanted to get the big picture. Before we come to the end, or at the end, it's not entirely true. You made at least one or two attempts, and you were shut down as a violation of the rule we agreed to not to change line items until final review. Right, remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Was that a motion that this did? Yes, this that we do the line items at final review. That was a motion to support yeah, that. Right. That's why we're not voting on them when you know as they were presented. I, think this motion, I don't remember that motion. I'm sorry. I think this motion that Steve has made is out of order. It's I think it's out of changing order the rules. Because you've already voted I on voted on doing it this way. Yeah, we yeah. did. We did. You did. You voted Madam, unanimously. Madam Chair, you 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 make the call, you have the chairman. There's no rule that says you cannot make a motion to change the rule either. Right. Make a motion to change the rule. We'll vote Legally on that. Motion. Well, effectively, I made yes. a motion and it stands. Just you decide what you want to do. There's vote or not. There's a motion, there's a second. Uh, there's discussion, and there's a vote. It's, that's it. <laughs> Very illuminating. <laughs> Keep it simple. Changing horses. No, sometimes things aren't simple. Changing I'd like to make an amendment. <laughs> to this. Make an amendment, Mike. Make an amendment. I'd like to make an amendment that we uh, add five million dollars to that number, and I just to, so we can get it turned down real quick and make it all real quick and easy. Okay. Wait a minute. We can Wait a play, minute. We can play no, that. No. We can play that game. Wait a minute. When you say it's a rather odd number. Why don't you go ten? Okay, we'll go ten. And add for immediate adjournment. Hey guys, ten after eight. We've yeah. done two actions, a warrant article and some corrections to the budget. Not good. Agreed. But this is what this motion wrought. I think the chairman should, Call for a vote. knowing what we said in May and June, that should chairman should rule Steve out of order. And we get on with it. Yep. Chairman's going to call for a vote. Call for a break right now. Ten minute break. Thank you, everyone. We're back from break. And we will continue. We have a motion on the floor to accept $26,886,827. As the budget for 2016, we have a second. I'm sorry, who made the second? Scott. Scott? Yeah. yeah. All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion fails. Okay, we move on. Let's get.
Get to we'll it. put that to rest. Thank Thanks, God. Now, seven to five. Seven to five How many people are here? Twelve. All right. Rock and roll. All right. Now, can I have a motion to open up this budget for yes. discussion? I'll make the motion to open this budget. 2016. The amount? And the amount of. You need me to do that again? 26,886,827. For discussion? For discussion. <coughs> Second. No. Okay. All right. Well, let's Pick go. the vote on that. Oh, sorry. Do um, what? Well, let's have discussion on it. There's no reason to have a motion to discuss it. We always open yeah, up the budget. The budget. We're opening the budget up. There's There's no no reason reason for, it. for discussion. Okay. No. So those in favor of the discussion, so we can move on. Opposed? Abstain. I abstain. All right, going through the sections. As we've said, going along, keep notes for adjustments that you would make to the budget one way or the other. Right. Right. After all, presentations had been given. So let's take section each section at a time. Uh, 4130, the executive section. Are there any proposals for changes there? It's only two lines. Let me catch up, please. Looking at a total of sixteen thousand three hundred dollars. The executive line. Yeah, the executive under two hundred ninety-two thousand two hundred thirty-three dollars, which is roughly twelve and a half thousand dollars over the default. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I want to have a suggestion. We do here in the uh, budget committee. I would like to add. Two thousand dollars to legal expenses. That is line item zero zero three four one three oh four thirty two thirty legal expenses. I'd like to add two thousand dollars, which I'll explain to the rest of the committee where it's coming from at a later date, or I can tell you where I propose to take it from. And that right now, before we get to it, because we are not to that line item, uh, I'm going to suggest we take it out of legal outside uh, services. But right now, I just want to add $2,000 to that line item. Okay. Do I have a second on that? I'll second. Okay. And if I understand, you want to add $2,000 to the executive line 4130, correct? Right. Say again? You want to add $2,000 to the line number 4130, executive. No, under budget committee. Uh, no, I thought we were discussing executive. 3230. No, we're, the total executive, executive is OBS section. one. The whole page happens, yeah. to, happens to include the budget committee. Budget committee is a sub line item. You brought us to 292, 233. Yeah, right. I, I want we're, the. We're talking about all changes items. within this section. Right. I want to add two thousand dollars under that specific line. Okay, and that will that'll increase the total at the bottom of the line by two thousand dollars. Make it uh, two ninety four two thirty three. And the reason for that is, if it's zero, technically there is no way we can hire outside attorney in case we need it. And we have decided over the years, many years now, of being on the budget May since I was uh, I think I was elected in two thousand four or something where along in there. There have been occasions where we've had a disagreement with the Board of Selectmen. And the Board of Selectmen, the town attorney works <coughs> for them. The town attorney works for the Board of Selectmen. They approve, they can fire him or whatever they want to do with him. They, he belongs to them. Even though he is the town attorney, he technically works for the Board of Selectmen. So if we have a disagreement with the Selectmen, of course we're going to have an up, up, uphill battle with the, getting them to approve any funds. Well, if we have a line item with money in it, we want to do something we can't. That's the reason for the madness. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
And I'll forward that conversation a little bit this year. We did have reason to want legal counsel. <coughs> I did request it when I requested it from Attorney Gerald came up with this protocol of us having to go through the Board of Selectmen right. for approval. However, that is not the case, as you heard, when we had the planning board in here. They go directly to Gerald. Now, that was the case of when we had money in the budget. And what happened a couple of, I want to go back maybe three years ago, when we had a budget crunch, we, ag we agreed in this committee to roll what we had in our budget in to outside counsel because we felt we didn't quite have the need and we were guaranteed that should the time come that we did need to access, we only had to go to Attorney Gerald to do that. Well, it didn't play out that way this year. Okay, so call it a gentleman's agreement, call it whatever you want. When we needed it, we couldn't access it. And um, for that reason, and for the protection of the budget committee going forward, I think it's prudent to just, we're just moving it. But it also moves the authority on it, too. Um, so taking $2,000 out of outside counsel and putting it into budget committee doesn't change the bottom line. Right. So is that your motion as well? To yes. Say that because yeah. on OBS 4, you'd be affecting line 3230, which is 50,000. Now that would change to 48,000, correct? Yes. Okay, so that's your yes. And two things. Two quite things. honestly, if you had a year that the budget committee did not use anything, it would be now would be in reverse. Say the budget committee did not use its 2,000, mm -hmm. and they had a need for additional so outside more. counsel, I'm sure you could be asked to so you're not changing any right. bottom line. You're not changing the bottom line. some money from one line to another. Not yet, no, but it may be changed on some other issue, but not here. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. That's about ten hours worth of law time. I understand, Jay, but if if you have a if you don't have any money in I that line at all, all technically you can't spend any money in that arena at all. Okay. So if you have a dollar in there, I just made a comment. That's all. I just moved over 2,000. Is, it's just a number I picked. So All right. Let's go. All those in favor? I'm sorry. Did you have a question? Well, I, I thought we had this discussion when we go, went over our budget, and we voted not to do this. So uh, we voted not to have uh, well, that legal was, funds. That was early on before we had legal problems and couldn't access legal funds. So now maybe some people want That's to think differently. Picture. Okay, I just that was a you, vote actually. That was a vote actually for the budget committee's recommendation. So their budget for the selectmen for them to make their recommendation on that number. This is a vote with regard to the budget committee formulating the budget to go to the public hearing. Yeah. Two different things. Okay. All right. All those in favor? It's passed. Opposed? Bill? And abstain. Tim. All right. Also, while we're on that section, I would call your attention to the secretary wages. I know we had this discussion in the past. Right now, for the number of meetings that we're having, about 20 at the rate that we're paying, that would come to uh, 2,500. So if you want to keep with this number of 1906, you're going to have to reduce your meetings. It's your call. What was the number that might be if we do the meetings? Six meetings. 20 meetings. And I think we might actually have exceeded in this count in this round because we've added so many extra meetings for these delays. Um, hopefully you'll bring it down. And where we didn't meet in the summers in the past and people wanted to meet going forward, it depends on, on the board itself, but you've got 12 months. If you have a meeting every month, that leaves you eight meetings all right, so what, are the, what should the number be, Madam Chairman? For 20 meetings, it's 2500 So let's put, let's put another $600 in there. I make a motion we add $600 to the secretary wages. Uh, actually, what is it, 1906? Why don't you round it up? Whatever. Okay. 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 
2,500 is the exact number, Jerry. Want to just change that number to 2,500? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I, that's, All right. Change it to 2,500, okay, that'd be a difference of, uh, six dollars. Yeah. But it's an even number. It's an even number. Take a vote. Okay. All those in favor? Opposed? Tim, Scott, Nick, Steve. And uh, Bob, you're opposed? No. You're okay with it? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Phil, you're opposed? Okay. Mm -hmm. Motion passes. All right, so revised numbers on budget committee. It's um, uh, 5150 total. We had a 594 to one line item and 2000 to the other. Oh. Hmm? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we made the budget committee secretary 2500 and the legal expenses 2000. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah but then we still have 300 for staff development and 350 for okay. supplies and expenses. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, where's that total then? 5150. 5150. And that changes the executive to? Um, is that all the way down to the bottom? Yeah. Bottom of that first page. I think it's too far. Oh, uh, okay. Um, 297 or something like that. Um, oh, oh, executive. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. Uh, 294, 827. Okay. <coughs> okay. Move. All right. Any other changes in that section? No. Nope. Okay. So do I have a motion to accept 294, 827? I'll make a motion to accept uh, 294, 827. Second. I'll second it. All those in favor? Opposed. Is that the Jim? Steve? Mm -hmm. I'm saying this for the benefit of our secretary. Yep. Scott? Nick? Abstain. And you abstain on abstention. Okay, so that number passes 294, A27 for executive. Moving on to election. Somebody move the total. Of 260326. I'll make um, that motion. Okay, seconded by Brian. Brian. 260326. Okay, discussion on this section. I had 2 8 on the last one. Well, you had 2 7. We're ready for discussion on this year. Oh, well, I have, I have a, uh, a recommendation. Uh, Town clerk is looking to add another part-time file clerk. For Sixty-eight, sixty-four. She's already got two assistant clerks. She wants to add another file clerk. I see all the filing in the boxes. She showed us picture. I would like to read. Uh, I like to eliminate that and bring it to zero. I think it's about time that we study and analyze how we do things and what we do. Try to methodize our processes, improve our productivity and processes, and stop just simply adding people when we have more work. We just add people. We don't think about how we can make productivity improvements. <coughs> so I look for productivity improvements and stop adding people. Um, and um, and I, you know, scanning, microfilming, whatever it takes. What do other clerks do? Other town clerks. So you're making a motion to reduce election and registration by... I'm talking about part-time wages, Tim. The, uh, they want to add a part-time file clerk in here, 16 hours a week, $11 an hour, for $6,864. I'm dry, I would like that. Put, make 6, that zero. 6864 under 4140 election and registration. I'm not going through all those counts and spend 20 minutes. 
take. I told you where I was. This is under town. Four hours on subline items. I'm talking about a line item. <laughs> Do what you want with the line item. We're not done with the discussions. I made a motion. We have a second on that. Yes, I second that. Okay. Discussion. It's a pronoun. No yeah, I don't have something to say about that. Um, other towns do do this, and especially when we're doing the binding and the other things that, that town clerk does. Um, you're only adding a part-time position, so there's no insurance or anything like that. Um, they've shown the need. <coughs> they certainly bring in the money. For a part-time position for just a few hours, um, I think it's going to be really helpful to the town. <coughs> so I would say leave that as this. I would just add one comment in relation to what mm. uh, Brian said. The amount of money that the town clerk brings in has nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. That's a job she's elected to do. The people are paid to do their job just like the people in public works, fire department, and the policemen. The policemen don't bring any revenue except pay maybe an occasional ticket, but we aren't basing this budget or the, any of our employees on how much revenue they bring in because that's their job. The tax collector brings in a whole lot of money. If you base that, you use that for a guideline, you're going to be paying her millions of dollars. So you can't even include that in your thinking. I'm sorry. You have to think about whether the town clerk needs a part-time person, yes or no. I would say that nobody here is arguing whether to pay clerks millions of dollars based on their revenue income. I would say that the revenue bases the need for the workload. I think the workload is evident by the amount of revenue the department brings in. And that was proven by the town clerk when she came here. Therefore, I support Mr. Lapham and the, to leave it in the budget. Oh, we should take a vote. Well, I, I have something to say about it. Right. We saw the same picture this year that we saw last year about stacks, about that big, of filings that don't get done at the end of every day. That's how it was presented. I don't know that that was a strong enough argument that in the course of the day you couldn't find time to do those stacks every day. Of course, if you take a stack that's this big and put them in a box and let them accumulate for a month or two months or three months, um, you have a box. That wasn't a keen enough argument for me. I'm sorry to start funding another position because every position we put in always ends up growing. I don't know that every person we have in town hall is spending every hour working and sometimes it takes teamwork to catch people up with their filing. I don't know if we've tried that yet, I'm, but I'm with you on this one. I, I don't think that a box full of things that haven't been filed is a reason to put another position in. I could see giving maybe $1,500 on that line to get caught up. And I don't know what I draw the line with coming up with policy and how to reinvent what you do, but I don't think of adding a position. So I guess I'm, I'd, I'd be okay with $1,500 on that line but not eliminating it. Well, the motion is made. Mm -hmm. All right. Sandy? I'm not really too sure if I agree with hiring another part-time yeah. person. Uh, and maybe the best solution is to put a small amount of money in there and have a temp come in mm -hmm. and do the filing instead of okay. creating a position. Temp, you're going to have a contract, so it's not going to be. No, you don't have a contract. You have, you you call a temp agency, and they send somebody over, and you tell them this is what you, uh, this is all I want you to do. We might do have somebody filing. in another department mm -hmm. that might have a few hours True. that's already on the payroll that could come in and help them just get caught up. I don't yeah. know that that based on what I saw as the presentation being that box last year in this. Um, to substantiate needing another person, I just think we could do it a different way without a new hire. Yep. I seem to remember that when she talked about bringing somebody in,
and that person was going to be shared in some other departments. Am I wrong? Yes. I am wrong. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Yes, I did hear that. It was <coughs> could be shared, but it's all yes. coming in this budget. So that's saying that it, just by that concept alone of saying, well, this person can come in and that person can then be shared. You don't need a whole person for this department. That's where. That's what I'm saying is that I don't. I, uh, do I think they've gotten behind? Yes. Yeah. But do I think we need to create a position for that? Well, that's my argument okay. on it. Yes. All right. Yes. So. But well, I asked that specific question, idea. and it was all going to come out of whatever department she worked for. It wasn't just going to strictly come out of the town clerk. Yeah, we've heard that's that. Right. I think they started doing that last year, as I recall, Brian. Right. Right. That's right. what they talked about, yeah. So, just so I'm clear on what line, Jerry. It's under the town clerk. It's under part-time wages, 007-41-401-1200. Okay. Yeah. It's elimination of 68-64, throwing manpower after manpower. As the work gets too much for us, yeah. instead of taking a step back and thinking about it. Is there a, is there a second? There was a second on that. Uh, any, second. More, any more discussion? No. no. All right. Vote on that. All those in favor of reducing um, that line by $6,864. All right, so Steve, Bob, Bill, Nick, Scott, and Brian, you're opposed to that. Okay. All right, motion fails. Yeah, tied. Is it 6 6? Mm -hmm. What was it? Just so we know when it's time to raise All those in again. favor again? Did I get the wrong count? No, it's right. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So tied. Tied. So, yeah. So yeah. Motion motion motion. I understand. It's okay. It's the way democracy is supposed to work. Okay. Any other adjustments to this particular area? <clears throat> okay. I do have a question before we get out of this area on. Um, town clerk's wages. <coughs> now on this, it includes a 9% increase to coincide with four years of 1.5 increase for department heads not received by the town clerk or the tax collector. Problem I have with that is that the department heads are hired and town clerks and tax collectors are elected and four years at 1.5 comes to 6%, isn't it? Four and times one and a half? Yeah. <coughs> would one, be six, not three, nine. One and a half, one and a half for four years, it'd be six a cumulative, yeah? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, compounding would be a little bit more than that. Not so nine. It would be more when you compound it, actually right. compounds. Let's see, I so approach seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also in that equation was um, a step consideration <coughs> along with step increase to begin comparative level salary yeah. so it sounds like we're crossing all lines here we're elected we're getting what the department heads have and now we're using steps Bill was that all discussed with the selectmen Pardon? was all of that discussed with the selectmen What's that? steps What's that? Or the, t the um, town clerk. I don't understand either. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't. Well, you're that saying night. that she's taking a certain percentage uh, for six years, three, six years, or whatever, and a step to get her equivalent to what she thinks other town clerks, whatever. So that's how she comes up with it. She's 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 giving herself an adjustment essentially, and then a merit end up where she is. An adjustment and a merit. See? I think I saw something in the paper that she passed some some test or some continued education. Yeah. So she improved herself over the last several years. She's been continually taking uh, educational courses and updates. So that has to count for something. So Madam Chairman, are you making a motion? 
throwing that out there. Well, we ought to move on because... Well, why, don't we, why don't we make a suggestion of changing the increase if you want to do that? Well, I'm, I, I'm not doing it, Mike. Okay. okay. I'll make I'll make a motion instead of 9% I'll, She hasn't had a raise in so many years. But we'll, we'll give her what she said and give her 6%. Make a motion to change that number to 6% increase rather than 9%. Is that what you wanted to do? Mm -hmm. I just threw it out there because I'm just confused by the configuration of the okay. lines that we're crossing. I think I'll well, let me withdraw that then. Okay. All right. So we'll move on. Oh. Can I have, um, so we have changed nothing in that section to clean it up. Can I have a motion to accept election 4140 line? Oh, this is the bottom line now? Mm -hmm. 200. I'm sorry, Sandy? No, just I'm telling him what we're doing with the bottom line. The line doesn't okay. change. That line hasn't changed yeah. at all. But let's vote just to accept that as right. it is. Right. What is it, 203, 242? 263, 26. I'll make that motion, Madam Chairman. Okay. Oh, you're talking. See, I'm looking at a different right. Second. I'm looking at a second. I'll second that. I'll second that. Okay. All right, all those in favor? Yes. Opposed? Sandy, Tim? Actually... I'm going to go in the opposed to Sandy, Tim, Eileen. I, I am. Okay, that's the one that I made Jerry. my motion on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Sandy, Tim, Eileen, Jerry opposed, and abstentions. Thank you opposed, too. Right? Okay. Are you want me to file for Motion passes. Finance department. Hmm? Finance department. Which includes MIS for those right. who are chairman of subcommittee. Finance has finance, audit, assessing, tax collector, and MIS. Okay, so that would be for a total of $1,066,818. That's what I have, yes. Okay. Do I see anything in here? Yes. Uh, finance, it goes all the way down to the next page on the M uh, OBS 4. And under MIS, I'd like to uh, uh, remove 24000 from the 3950 uh, new equipment, 014-4156-7400. Because it's my understanding they're going to spend 24000 on 365, which is a wonderful idea. However, on Monday night's meeting coming up, they're going to take them. They're going to rescind the MIS fund, which has twenty-nine thousand some change in it, and they can use that money to pay for the uh, three sixty-five. And I suggest that we remove uh, five five thousand dollars from <coughs> a, an additional to that same line. So I want to reduce that line item thirty-nine five hundred by twenty-nine thousand to leave one thousand. To leave ten thousand dollars in that line, which is <coughs> one zero one four forty one five zero six seventy four hundred new equipment. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the, I don't know. OBS four. I think uh, your your ideas are good, Mike, but I don't know about the accounts. Are they right? The three sixty five line didn't that appear in supplies and expense? Yeah, I think it's the wrong line, Mike. Yeah. I understand what you're doing, but I think you have the wrong line. Yeah, it's this, sixty one hundred. Sixty one hundred. And we are, there is a warrant article to dissolve all of that, Christy? Oh, to yeah. dissolve that account? Um, is there a new warrant, or, is that warrant article in there to dissolve the MIS? It's been drafted. It's been so drafted. It's go okay. Okay, we'll have to, uh, I'll reduce that. Um, oh, it's, it's, and, then, and then what was left in that technology account was 5,800. And I believe you wanted to apply that to the new computer buys as well or drop it even further. Mike, before you finish the motion, let me just suggest this. There's $29,840 in that MIS account. Okay. Maybe it's, it should be time to fold the tent on that or withdraw that amount sure. and put it towards um, that subline 6100. Yeah, we'll do the 6100. I'm sorry. Okay. And reduce the 60, the 43,520 yeah, by, by the 29,840. What is that? 29,840? What the hell is MIS? <sighs> We're going to reduce the 43,520, Scott, by 29,840. 
I'll make the motion again. The motion, uh, I move that we remove 29840 from line item number, let me get my, uh, 6100. Uh, it's 014 4156 6100 supplies and expenses, and the BOS request was 43520, so reducing it by 29840. Is. I believe it's 13. No, I mean, oh. the, the Mike wants to take the 24 for, for 360 from, the, from the supplies and expense. Mm -hmm. You want to take more than 24, correct? You want to take the total amount of the MIS fund. Right. 29, 8, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Okay, so, so what do you want to zero out? Uh, what's the, number, eight, the MIS fund. Which yeah, we have forty nine eight fifty is what we're taking out. Mm -hmm. Twenty nine eight eight forty. Where the heck is twenty nine eight forty? Twenty nine eight forty. It's thirteen thousand six eighty. So you guys said there's no twenty nine eight forty written in there the other night when we had an account of how much was in that MIS fund that oh, was yeah. created back in the right. 90s. Right. There was $29,840. Maybe there's $841 today. It but might be eight, a little less after the market. Right. So, but that 365 line item is in the supplies and expense at 6100 So, and, he, and they wanted uh, 24000 for that, right? They wanted forty three. Mike's not Mike's taking the whole amount. Taking it all out of that line item. Right. And applying it to the... Right. right, so we're going to dissolve that fund, which isn't doing anything. Nobody's and even that's something thought about it. We're not going to do on Okay, Monday. all right. With a new Warren article. So, what's the new number Wait, now, Scott? Uh, we started off at 43,520. Mm -hmm. We yeah. took out 29,840. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The new number is $13,680. Okay. okay, thank you. So, that's your. That's your uh, motion, that, Mike. And then the bottom line in that total financial would be, Scott? Uh, total financial would be a million thirty six thousand nine seventy eight. Seventy eight. Okay. Nine seventy eight. Nine seventy eight. Yes. Okay. What and what about the PCs in uh, right. line seventy four fifty forty one five zero six seventy four fifty? There was a motion first. I, I'd like to speak. Yeah, on the motion Nick had his can. hand up before that. Um, the position of the IT subcommittee on MIS fund is to, uh, by, by a vote, non-unanimous vote, was to reduce the line items of the four lines that were compared uh, or, or kind of grouped together, which were, I believe, repairs and, expense. repairs and maintenance, supplies and expenses, new equipment, and replacement equipment. Those are all four, yeah. Reduce those to... The amount of last year's budget with zero increase to 2016. Tim, did I cover all the points in that? Yes. That was the position of the IT subcommittee by non-unanimous vote. Just for consideration. And before we mo vote on the motion on the table. Right. I'll put it another way, by majority vote. So how much would that change that line, Evan? part of the discussion what was that the would change that line item by thirty six thousand nine hundred twenty dollars but would still leave the twenty nine eight forty in the fund well the IT subcommittee voted by majority vote to reduce the MIS budget by thirty six thousand nine hundred twenty dollars that was the vote okay So we, we're, right now we're taking 29840 out by get, cleaning out the MIS fund. That's one piece of that picture. If you want more, we can make a motion to uh, take out more. I'm just answering the question that I was asked. But okay. you weren't rolling in the, the trust fund. You weren't rolling in the trust fund for that. You were just taking that money out. Do you have just some rationale on that, that yes. decision? The the. Um, Consideration of the MIS fund uh, was not a factor in the calculation. There are those, and I perceive to be a majority of the committee, uh, that believe that the planning for 
The rollout of Office 365 is unworthy of funding and it should be further developed. In other words, it's half-baked. And so, I believe the majority of the, opinion, uh, of the committee, although we didn't vote explicitly on that, is inclined to not agree with uh, using the MIS fund for the purposes of rolling out Office 365 under the current plan, which we perceive as half-baked or quarter-baked, or 10% baked, but insufficiently baked. We have another motion. We have a motion. Yeah, we have a motion. We have a motion. I was just right answering here. the question that was asked. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. We have a motion oh, for the 29840. Right. And we have a second. Mm -hmm. Who seconded? I don't remember who seconded. I may, I may have seconded. Okay. All right. All those in favor of that motion as it sits. Can I have that number restated? That would reduce line 6100 to 13680 and give a total at the bottom of $1,036,978. What was the reduction amount? 29840 Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which is what we By perceive. virtue of taking, rolling the yeah, fund over. Right. Right. That's what we perceive. Well, we to clean out the fund. Right. Right. So in this motion, we are we are <coughs> we are funding the 360 right. in this motion. Right. Um, as long as it however, passes the board of selectmen, goes on as a warrant article. Right. Well, well money, if not, the money's correct. not there. Right. That's correct. All right. That's so contingent upon we can that. only do what we can do. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but this way, there is no impact to the taxpayer. Right. For funds that are sitting there already. If I may, Madam Chair. Yes, sir. Christy. Uh, when the IT subcommittee sent its written questions to you several months ago, we asked one of the questions we asked was how many PCs were bought in 2015. The answer was 10. Uh, at, I believe it was the last meeting you mentioned that you now have an open PO for an additional 10 in 2015, which totals 20 for the year 2015. And your your recycle plan is 20 PCs per year, so you're right on yes. target with that. You're right on target with that with the numbers of the 2015 budget. And the essential argument in the IT subcommittee was that, given that PC prices are actually dropping, that having a flat budget in MIS related to equipment would give them more than enough to continue with their 20 PC recycling program. Mm -hmm. Right? And so we pursued that. The other added item to the MIS was relative to Office 365, which the committee decided by majority vote uh, was not a sufficiently big plan to fund yet. We want to encourage them strongly to um, further refine that plan so that it is worthy of funding. But it's through those two elements that we derived at the idea of basically those so-called four equipment-related accounts that you like to refer to, right? To flat in those lines only. We're not touching your uh, career enhancements, your salaries. We're not touching those sub-lines at all. No, we touch in mileage, which is flat anyway. So, in that flattening of those four equipment line items, which were previously stated, and I can restate repairs and expense, uh, maintenance, supplies, and expenses, new equipment and replacement equipment, totaled $36,920 reduction in the current proposal. I'm looking at this, and a simple way to clean this motion up, as it seems like there's two things, different things going on here, we need two different motions. But perhaps a different way to clean this up and accomplish the same goal. If we take, we took that $29,840 out of supplies and expenses. New equipment is proposed out there, it's $29,800. If we just move that to that line and use the funds in MIS to pay for new equipment, there's only a $40 differential. Well, here I think it's and then we can go on and look at what you're saying on your line for the th Office 360, 365. Well, maybe I think we're trying to get a little too fine here. Yeah, yeah. This, this is well, no, because we're talking about two different things. But we're, know, but we're talking have about. We voted on the motion yet? No. No, right. no because we're trying. It, it, it's two different things going on, and rather than complicate. What could be a next it motion? So public, I don't know what. Well, we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I may, if I may, want to want to just pursue your motion? Let's let's just go ahead and do this motion. Yeah. That'll exactly. get the twenty nine eighty eight 
right. 40, 40 out of the way. Out. That'll take care of the MIS fund and all that sort of thing. Right. Then if Somebody we want to it. reconsider more money, we can do that when that's right. finished. Right. All those in favor of like the motion as it was presented. And this, this is, this is, remember that there's going to be a warrant article that's going to take place with this money. Right. Okay. Okay. That's the contingency thinking. All right. So we have those in favor, Mike, Sandy, Tim, Brian, Eileen, Steve, Mike, and Jerry opposed to this motion, Nick and Scott. And we have one abstention from Phil, but we also no longer have Bob with us. Bob has left the room, and he had has left something the building. to do. Right. So now there are eleven. So of now us. there are eleven. Right. That passed, right? Yes, yes, that passed. Okay. All right. Any other changes in this? No. Is there a second motion? Now, Mr. Jones. No. If you wish to uh, support the IT subcommittee's decision, you would have to further reduce this. By seven thousand eighty dollars. Tim, are you, you making a motion? Are yes. you, uh, Tim? They, uh, this line item dealing with additional PCs they want to buy. That's a sub line item, Jerry. <laughs> That's what I was trying to point out. I mean, you know, earlier, it's, Jerry. It's a sub line item. I mean, you know. Jerry, let me explain. That's what I was trying to point out earlier. Christy has always referred to these four line items together as equipment-related line items, right? Yes. Okay. So those four line items are all treated basically as one from a management point of view. No, they're treated that way because of the fact that they're, we are doing truth and spending and um, putting things on the proper line that they should be put on. However, the budget does not reflect because of the fact that it's been a default budget, doesn't reflect the changes. So that's why we report on it as 8,100, 800 as a total. When we go to buy something though, we charge it to line the line it. that is appropriate for that purchase. Right. Unless you're operating on a default budget. Talking about default budget, right. that, that answer. So unless no. you're operating oh, on default budget, what, what, is that what I heard right? What do we want to? Can I get an answer to my question before I'm interrupted? I'm sorry. What is your question? Unless you're operating on a default budget, then, then, then you're, it's four just treated as one equipment-related line item. Right? I don't. In terms of, well, if there's money in that sub line item, we'll take it out of there because there isn't in the other one. No, so they're actually held solid. I think that the line that a purchase is made that it's, we consider to be a supply and expense, we charge it to that line item. If it's new equipment, we charge it to that. If it's replacement equipment, we charge it to that. All right. Thank you for saying that. Okay. So, Tim, what do you want to do now? Made a motion. Made a motion. To did not. I thought you did. No, yes. All I stated no, just was, if you wanted to be consistent with the IT recommendation, you would reduce the MIS budget further by seven thousand eighty dollars. Do I hear so, a motion? Do I have a motion to that effect? Um, yeah, I think I, I think I will since my chairman is not. Uh... Excuse me. I understood that the chairman was going to be representing the subcommittee. That's why I'm. Oh, chairman of the hesitated. subcommittee. I'm sorry, I, was, I got confused there for a minute. <laughs> well. Let's, the let's the, the dollar going. figures are different than the than what we had discussed originally. Even though the, I guess the intent is the same to bring those down to zero. So uh, due to the dollar figures, then yes, I would guess I will make that motion on behalf of the subcommittee. Okay, to further reduce. That's all you want to do, Nick. Is seven thousand, not ten or fifteen or anything. Seven thousand and eighty. Huh? Seven thousand and eighty. Whatever yeah. it was to yes. equal out last year's budget. Reduce total MIS further okay. by seven thousand and eighty dollars. All right. Okay. Did somebody second that yet? Yes, you did. Okay. All right. All those in any discussion? All those in favor of that reduction? All right. So we have Mike, Sandy, Tim, and uh, Jerry, Mike. I'm tired. All right, all those opposed to that further reduction. 
and let's see, that was Scott, Brian, Eileen, and Stephen. Abstain. And you're abstaining. I'll abstain. You're Seven abstaining. So again, how many did I ha do I have in favor of that article? Four, five, 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 and one. Motion passes to further reduce. <laughs> now, what line item are we reducing further? I, I took it out of replacement equipment. I thought that's that's a lovely place to take it. Okay, and so the new number Wait, is five five one. No, five five, five one. Pass. No. What? Five five, five, five one. Five, five, one. Is that what you said? Yeah. It's a five five and one. It's it says five five and one. No, it's a had, draw. We had two abstentions. Oh, okay. We sorry. Had Nick oh, so it's five four two. Five four right. two. Okay, that's different. Right. Sorry. Right. Just to clarify. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right. Sorry. I, th I thought you said five five and one. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. What's replacement? Uh, I took I took seven thousand oh eighty out of uh, thirty nine replacement equipment, and the new number is thirty two thousand four hundred and twenty. Say again, please. Thirty-two thousand four hundred and twenty. Thank you. And the total? Total for the MIS, the revised total is two hundred five nine fifteen. What was thirty-two thousand five twenty? Uh, thirty-two thousand four twenty was was the revised replacement, Replace, replacement yeah. equipment. Oh, okay. Okay, and that total was again two hundred five nine fifteen mm -hmm. for MIS. And now that we've made several changes to financial, we're all done with financial. We made two motions in this, which should have totaled 36,920. Yes, sir. Right. What's the, so number, the total number for, for MIS? Do you have there, Scott, please? MIS was the, was the 205,915. Right. Yeah. No, I mean <coughs> financial administration. Okay. Right. Uh, um, 1,029,898. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Motion to accept that. <coughs> Make that motion. Yeah. Mike second. Something what? Yeah. That section what do you think for we're one million twenty-nine thousand eight hundred ninety. Financial administration. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. All those in favor. I'd like to know what I'm voting on, Jerry. Is that a problem with that? Come on, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's opposed. move along here. Come on. Okay. Opposed. No, I'm. I'm. Okay. I'm for it. Stephen, Nick, Scott, abstentions. Bill's abstaining. So that passes. All right, moving on to legal. This is a small section. I have a. Uh, you want to move the 198875? I'll, I'll move the 198875 total. Okay, Second. Thank you. Can I comment on that now, or do you I want to? Um, Mike seconded it. Okay. It, it, I thought it was 196 because we took 2,000. Didn't we reallocate? We haven't, we haven't done that yet. yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Was that? We Sorry. have to do that Just now got if we're going right. to do that. Yep. <laughs> if we're going to do that. Okay. Yep. Sorry. This is it. The other end's already done. Yep. Okay. The discussion on this one. Well, I, I um, feel that we should reduce the outside council fees from 50 to 25, which is what he had last year. And if you analyze what he had last year, it's about 25, 27. And when he was in here and we, he discussed a jump, he indicated this was kind of... Uh, Jerry, I'm only seeing 10,000 for outside council. Outside council fees, legal expenses. Yeah, it's uh, fourth line from the bottom. It's 30, 3230. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. And uh, he, a couple of things that he mentioned that, that kind of struck resonance with me was that you know it was kind of an estimate. It was a contingency. Uh, you know, uh, felt that perhaps he might need it. You know, and uh, I don't know. Those words didn't convince me. It didn't seem like we had a heavy legal agenda in the no. coming year. No. Every year, I usually. It's a topic of discussion. I'll, I will say that uh, that's a very uh, bad idea to reduce that. There are, are some uh, exigencies and in some initiatives, some efforts going forward in the next calendar year uh, that uh, are being dealt with by the selectmen, by the town attorney. 
uh, and it will handcuff our efforts to the detriment of the citizen and the taxpayer. And I would uh, urge this body not to use that one. And I, I will comment uh, to that as well, though, when, when we made the assistant manager's job and outside council fees uh, was mentioned there's going to be suffering as a result of this um, and it would begin to pulse upward this is the first pulse upward uh, and I've, I've got inside dope that uh, Jerry doesn't have and that, again I say uh, from a very informed basis this is very bad Stephen and then Nick okay Total legal is minus 4.33%, okay? I don't see anything wrong with this, with this entire legal thing. I can't believe we're changing it. It's already a minus number. So, my opinion. If you want to adjust that $2,000 that you moved over, I, I'm for that. But as far as, as far as, it's just my opinion, sorry. All right. Nick? Um, if, if I, my memory serves me correctly, back in 2011 through 2014, or sorry, 2013, he had marked, lined some stuff under litigation expenses and not outside counsel fees. And if you look at, yes, his outside counsel fees may have gone up a little bit, but his litigation fees have gone down significantly. Like, when, when you average them out and come up, I mean, I, I kind of agree with Stephen. We're, we're looking at a negative here. Uh, it just seems to be like it's a little more uh, truth in spending reflective. It's my opinion. Two grand. Oh, 14, he spent 29.3. <coughs> 29 yeah. And, and then litigation expenses? And uh, I'm not talking about litigation. I don't see any problem with litigation, so I didn't challenge it. I'm, going, I'm just going against the outside counsel. The outside counsel. And if you, look at, if you look at the actual year to date, in, in 15, it's 25,000. In 14, it was 20, 25,000, 26,000. And he felt that he needed 50 because he needed some comfort. He needed, <laughs> it, 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 you know, he needed, I also, he needed I also think bit. he used some outside services and he, he put them under litigation expenses. That's why in 2011, litigation expenses, $25,000. Even though outside counsel fees, sixteen thousand. Twenty in twenty eleven, it was a very litigious year. That that's the problem. The problem we have with legal is we had some years when we were dealing with the utilities that we were expending a lot of money. By the caseloads, it it looks like it's really lightened up. A lot of those have been settled. Um, but the other side of it is that this is one area where we are not fully aware of everything that is on the horizon and selectmen often know things that we can't know at this point in time for legal reasons. So it's a danger to strip it down too much, um, if at all, in this area. Well, but it's well still, if that's the case. It, it, and, but to speaking to Stephen, and it's only a little bit of an increase, I'm going to remind decrease. everybody the, bu the budget it decreased, but this, a, this. less of 1% doesn't make a big difference to me. Um, in a budget this past year, that even with the snow emergency was out there about a million dollars more than was needed. So there's a big picture, and this is just one line, but we've moved a lot of money out of this already, as you remember, into assessing. So that is a big show of a deduction right reduction right there because as some of you remember who were on this committee before that money that is now in assessing legal was in this outside council fund okay so when you have look at outside council you got to put the two of those together because that's really the big nut on the outside council um <clears throat> he also lost his assistant too only one person. Well, that has nothing to do with this particular line, right? He lost this his exact assistant. line, no. No, but this is this is outside counsel. This is when he can't take care of it. He's got to go to someone or an expert in in a in a legal field. Nick. That being said, I will refer to the default de facto expert on this situation, um, which seems to be Mr. Bean has the most information, seeing that the selectmen are privy to outside information that we do not have. 
he would be the one that would I would think have the best knowledge. And if he recommends to keep it at fifty thousand, I would I would have to agree with that recommendation and not change the line. I agree. Tim. If Mr. Bean has special information that we do not have, then we are the ones that have to render a vote, then perhaps it's incumbent upon Mr. Bean to share with us that information instead of holding us hostage in the state of presumed ignorance. The time for this was when the town attorney was in here. We've already stated that we spent 33 hours grilling these department heads. How much more time are we going to spend grilling people when we have de facto experts on this board. I asked claiming my time, Madam Chair. No one is being grilled. I simply made a statement <coughs> that if we are going to argue that one person in this room on this committee has wisdom and knowledge that none of us have, that it's incumbent upon them to share it with his fellow members and not simply yield to his conclusion. We're not slaves. We're not metaphysical slaves. We have brains, Madam each one Chair, of us, individually. Please. This is regular All order, right. Mr. Bean. Order, I have the floor. That's regular order. order. Hello. I did ask. I did I'm ask. My time, Madam Chair. Well, at this point, I'm going to call order in this, in yes. this room. Fine. Please have a seat, if you would, so we can get through yeah, this. I did. I and did. I'm sorry, the, the number of hours, the 33 hours, has come up. I have to tell you, I have 33 hours this week alone in budget committee. So when you when you ask to be elected and serve the people, it's to come out with the budget, whatever it takes. This year has been a very difficult year. I will give you that. And I'm here in Willie. We're not done. I'm nor am I claiming we should be. Claiming my time, Madam Chair. <laughs> so, like Mr. Bean, I have special knowledge, inside information. I have not yet shared because I've been waiting for Mr. Bean to share his inside information. Is it on this line? You can't. you can't share it. Well, nor can I share mine for that same reason. Okay. Less, uh, uh, less, I less, started out by saying there are some things about? in this line that we are not. Mr. Bean is not the only one. All right, let's move on. I am actually speaking on the motion, Madam Chair. Well, then let's speak to the number and let's try to stay on that. It has been re represented by those who would suggest that there's something wrong with the number in this motion that the motion maker and seconder and those who might support him are living in a state of ignorance and yet another member has greater knowledge that cannot be shared and I'm simply pointing out that there are still another member that has other knowledge that cannot be shared that is actually supportive of this motion okay. nothing to do with numbers Okay. Yes, it did. I, I did ask Mark when he was here, what was the justification? Mm -hmm. Mark indicated that it was an estimate. Uh, it's a contingency. <clears throat> and, you know, I may not use it. That kind of stuff. That's what I got back. I didn't get back. I'm working on this case, that case, this case, and that case. Madam Chair, may I? Mm -hmm. um, I would like to uh, make, a, make a comment about this. It did seem pretty weak about his request for 50000 and I think I have to agree in, in my own way, a little different than Mr. Jones, that we don't, I don't like to be threatened by unknowns. That is not any way to conduct this committee. And putting that aside, though, I'll just ignore it, okay, and ignore it, period. But when it comes to this, though, we have to also consider during this motion that we need to also get the 2000 over the budget mass. Want to move on forward on this? Let's take a vote on taking out the 25000 Either we do or we don't. Let's right. put it up to a vote. All right. Please. So motion by Jerry, second Does by? the 25000 include the 2000 yes. that was already taken? Okay. Okay. About 25. And um, I might add that if all the, more, all the um, CBAs are approved, are all of them in this year? I believe SEA has one more year. SEA has one more year that perhaps we won't need as much in the collective bargaining. But anyway, just throwing that in before we vote. All right, all those in favor of this motion? Opposed. Okay. That reflect opposed is Selectman Bean, Nick, Scott, Brian, and Steve. Any abstentions? 
Motion passes. Six five. Yeah. Minus. I just with the understanding that the two thousand that Scott goes to the budget committee. So That's right, uh, it's already so, done up there. So right. technically only twenty three is being reduced from the overall budget. You with me? Hmm. I've taken twenty five thousand out of that line item. So that's and just as an aside. And you added two over there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And you're all set. Yeah. Just, just, as a, just as an aside, I was going to oppose this motion until someone wanted to shove fear in my face. And when okay. I do that happens, hey, I stand hey, up. To it. Let's, let's let's move, move on. on. <laughs> all right. Is there anything else here? Um, and we're still on financial, right? And then legal the clarification. Wait a minute. That was mm -hmm. reducing this by twenty-five thousand. The revised. We on that, yeah, we, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, just, did. you said the That's clarification, okay. Okay. and then we still have a bottom line to change unless there's right. another change to be made in the legal budget. Right. Well, I would suggest uh, a brief discussion with her that since we transferred two thousand dollars from legal expenses to a subline item known as the budget committee. Mm -hmm that we should do uh, equal justice to the planning board, which is an actual line item, and transfer $2,000 from legal to the planning board. Did it request it? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't recall the budget committee requesting it either, but... I uh, did. Yeah, we just requested it. No, you just it. moved it. You didn't request to move it. In any case, uh, I think we ought to give them equal consideration because they are equally a separately elected board and are certainly due to an equal consideration of sovereignty with regard to seeking legal advice. So you want to give them the two thousand <coughs> out of the twenty-five we took out of here? I think that's confusing. I'm only sure. saying, I'm only saying that it's worthy of consideration. Well, I'm not even making a motion. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Worthy of consideration when we get to planning board, right. we can bring it up again. Yeah. All right. For the idea of being clean on this. Do you have a bottom line? You I want? have one seventy one hundred seventy three thousand eight hundred seventy five. Is that? Yep. Yes. One seventy three. What? Uh, one seventy three. Eight seven five. Eight seven five. Okay. We have a motion to accept that. I'll make that motion. A second. Okay. All those in favor? <laughs> Opposed. abstaining those abstaining all right personnel administration well personnel administration mm -hmm. can I make a motion to total yeah. three million eleven dollars and six hundred and forty five dollars three million eleven thousand eleven thousand six hundred and forty five dollars most certainly isn't this the one where we had the big underrun last year and I gave Christy a memo last night and again this morning on that? And I sent you guys an email this afternoon, which most of you probably did not get. And where's my copy? Right here. <clears throat> I'll just read my response, but I'll pass it out to you guys at the same time. It says, at the end of December, the personnel administration as a section is under budget by $128,366. However, if you remove from this total the employee separation costs and bank buyback program, it is only under by $20,264. The reason I took these two amounts off, as they are very difficult lines to budget for since we cannot really know who is going to retire or leave during any given year, nor do we have the buyback numbers in time for budgeting. Uh, the other lines in the section, with the exception of the Hampshire retirement for fire, are within a reasonable amount when you are looking at a $2.9 million budget. The New Hampshire fire is under budget. It can easily be explained with all of the extended leave in the fire department related to both workers, comp, and sick make. You might have already got the email. Yeah, right there. Would you like this hard copy also? Oh, it's give it to Sandra. Okay. So basically, my take on that line is that it's only underspent by $20,264 when you take into consideration the two heavy hitters there, where the um, buyback and the employee separation. Uh, I, 
we taking the buyback and the employee separation into consideration for 016? So we don't have a significant underrun there. <coughs> You have motion on that one, Jerry? I have a question, if I might. Sure. I, mean, I don't have my memo that the, I sent uh, to Christy. I didn't. Christy, the delta between the board of selectmen and this proposed budget and the default budget is seventeen and a half thousand dollars Yes. Quite about that, yeah. What would you attribute that to? I attribute that to changes in items such as retirement, the most of it. I haven't done the math, but that's where I'm going to guess the majority of it is uh, in the benefit-related accounts because of the fact that in the default, some of the um, wage lines, as we all know, cannot be changed. So therefore, those line items are adjusted. You so can see that... The Board of Selectmen has pay, wa pay wage increases that induce an additional seventeen and a half thousand dollars in the program. I haven't done the math, but that's my top guess because if you look at group one retirement, it's five oh five hundred and two thousand five hundred in the board of selectmen's budget and four hundred and ninety four thousand five hundred. So there's six thousand right there. Um, this is all related to pay increases in the board of selectmen's proposal, right? Otherwise or, otherwise you default budget the light. Or it could be related to OT wage lines. Not necessarily pay increases, well, I wouldn't. Wages, yeah. yeah. So it's all wage increases yes. from the board of selectmen that are producing a $17,500 increase over the default. No, there was an increase in the retirement system. Wasn't there? there was an increase in the retirement system. Thank you. you are well, if correct. that's the case, then the default budget is under what it ought to be. I mean, just that item, I, you're looking at the, the whole total here. I'm, I'm telling you only that one item. I'm aware of that retirement system. These changes, yeah. It did. They changed July 1st. You are right, Mr. Yeah. Pierce. And is that change calculated in the default? Yes, budget? it is. So it should be the same. The same. Unless wages change. All of those lines are related to wage lines in the budget. Right. So because there are more wages, it's causing a 17 and a half. I will still disagree wage. with that comment because in the wage lines, it's also part time wages, overtime wages, and there were changes made to those lines in throughout the budget. So it's not all necessarily related to pay increases made pay. by the, wages. I thought wage increases, wages. I'm sorry. Part-time wages are wages. Full-time wages are wages. So I'm saying I thought wages. you said that was all related to wage increases and I would disagree with that Wages. Comment. Wages, yes. Are higher. <laughs> and that's what's causing the $17,500 delta between the Board of Selectmen's budget and the default budget regarding personnel, correct? Yes. Wait, it's all wage driven, yes. That's all I wanted to get clear. <laughs> now, Jerry, I assume that the twenty thousand dollars that you're referring to in your memo to Jerry's response to Jerry is something separated from that seventeen five delta, right? It's an addition to that. Am I reading that correctly? My memo to Jerry was answering his direct questions that were related to the 2015 budget underrun. I did not even look at the actual 2016 budget because that is not what his question was directly. It was in regards to the underrun for 2015. Right. Let me talk about this. If I look at the total administration personnel, there's a 468,000 and a half underrun total. As of November. As of the, through the end of November. Correct. And you're saying that goes down to? <coughs> I'm telling you that when I look at December, which all of the numbers for December are not in. It's under budget by 128. Yes, that's what I was telling right. you. And your, most of the problem is coming in the separation costs and the buyback. Yes. And you're keeping those identical going into 016. Those have been identical for many years. They are still calculated every year. The buyback, we don't have in time for budget purposes last year I believe in 15 I would consider it to have been low if you look at 2014 the actual for that line item was $189,249 I didn't look past that so I can't tell you back how far I don't know if Scott has oh, it over there yeah. but in 2015 it was 
my best guess of the reason it being light was because of the fact that we had individual department heads who had played the buyback in the past but did not were not eligible to play in 2015 due to employment status at that time um, so you're, you're saying this is a low i'm saying 2015 was a low year for that and you also if you look at the um, actual for employee separation cost in 2014 it was 203,100 dollars uh, as of 11 30 it was 106,533 but we did have two retirements at the end of December I don't know if I printed that new number or not uh, I don't know if that includes the retirements I do know that I have 148,000 in there but I don't think we had two <coughs> uh, two different individuals leave at the end of December so, so. you're saying that um, your opinion in your opinion the employee separation costs and the sick leave buyback program should remain budgeted the same that is my this opinion, year yes. this year was a light year when yes. you look back on previous years I said that I didn't look back on previous years all I can tell you is what 2014 was and I didn't know if Scott happened to have the prior years but it's lower it's lower yeah, well it's going back 131,000 120 and 120 okay. but the other uh, the other one, separation cost goes the other way. So, you know, it's a... It's a in and I also will remind everyone that in regards to the balances and those two accounts at the end of year, they don't go back to surplus. They go back to the uh, compensated leave yeah. trust so, fund. Uh, yeah. So in 14, was 14 budgeted the same way as 15 and 16? I don't have that information in front of me. We have an actual, but we don't have it. I don't have the... I don't have the budget. I don't have the budget in front of me, so I cannot speak to in that. Your opinion, in your opinion, those two line items should stay as they have been. I know that when I was looking at these line items, I like I said, I don't have the buyback number. I can't predict that. But I did look, and I talked to the department heads. I have a spreadsheet. So when I calculate the employee separation cost, I contact each of the department heads. We look at who's eligible to retire based on their years of service and the retirement system. And then I look to the department heads and say, okay, what do you think the percentage of said employee is likely to retire? And we base it on 25, 50, or 75, or 100%. I plug it into my spreadsheet, and when I did that, I can say that I was very close to the 212000 I have to look at my book back there to Ms. see. Ms. Stamp, let me just go down to the total. <clears throat> yes. On the default budget, you have ninety nine, twenty nine ninety four, one forty five. Yes. All right. If we were to have to suffer through another default budget, are you going to be short in this section? Are you going to be short money? It's possible. Or was that default number planned? The default to, num to at least cover. The default number should cover what is spent from those line items because in the default budget the wages are different also. And many of those lines is what I was trying to explain before. Many of those lines, let's see, one, two, three, four, five lines, which are pretty heavy, pretty large number of line <coughs> items in that section, are related to wages. I mean, uh, just to reiterate what you just said, if you go back and look at the default default versus the the selectman's budget, it's they're di the wages are different. So th this section is going to be different. It's not, you know, it, unlike insurance, it's not going to be the same because there are what's driving no, it. No, but I'm thinking it should be the same. No, it shouldn't be. No, because, because the wages, the wages are the different in the selectman's budget than they are in only the, 17K the default. It's only 17K. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to be the same if wages were the same. Otherwise, wages it cannot be the same. Right. 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 No, but then the wages aren't the same. Right. No. That's the point. Wages will be different. Unless they have the same the same wages are higher in the selectman's right. budget. Right. Okay. So do we have any motions on this section? No, I, I Other don't. Other than no. to accept? I think I, I didn't have the benefit of December, and it does close the problem down quite a bit. Okay. And she's saying that she has looked at these numbers. and. We heard it. Okay. All right. So can there was no have a motion to accept the $3 million? Can I just point out one thing before you do that, just so you guys know? Oh, come on, we were on a roll there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just need to point it out because it's only fair. I just want to remind everyone that in this section is Social Security, Medicare, and retirement. All of those lines are related to wages. So any changes that you as a committee choose to make in wages 
in essence changes numbers in here so the line item for the budget committee secretary has added some additional money i'm just doing quick math here so i Understand. never like to say that it's golden math mm -hmm. um i did use a calculator though so it's pretty accurate but it was thirty six dollars and eighty three cents for social security and eight dollars and sixty one cents for medicare and likewise we moved the town clerk so that will lower it right? You didn't do anything in the town clerk, I don't believe. Oh, we had enough. We added a. Uh, did you do? Added something? a fire to secretary. We took. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you take the wages out of the town clerk? If you did, no, then. That, 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 no, we did not. Okay. That was the clerk for the sorry. town clerk. Yeah, the, the part-time yes. position. Right. I thought it didn't removed, pass. Right? I'm sorry. If it, if that passed, then there would be an additional. We took out the, the, no, the, no, the part-time. That's right. So that will cause it to go down. See, they're saying it didn't pass, so I don't know. Failed. It was it was it was even vote. So the motion failed. Oh, the motion failed. Okay, oh, you're right. That was the lead off. Okay. So, Eileen, the only thing I would point out to the committee is if you change any further wages going forward, so I don't ever want to encourage anyone to table anything, but this might be one of those sections that you as a committee do wish to table because if you reduce any wages or increase any wages, because I know you can go either way, any in any other section of the budget, and you've already voted on this number, then we're you locked into I that. Prefer if right, it's no okay with everybody, I prefer time, to keep it clean going through. Well, that's up to you as a committee. I'm just making we'll a recommendation or right. a suggestion. Rather than not <coughs> pass the section, they get lost as we go You on. want to go ahead and vote on this or yeah. not? Yeah, let's, let's just clean okay, this I'll, up. I'll move uh, 3 million, 11,645. Second Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? If we have to come back, we can always come back and change it. Now, the other Wait a minute. Uh, already yeah. I have Select and Bean, and I have Tim as abstention. Sandy, I didn't see your hand. You were <coughs> yes, no, or I'm in favor. You're in favor of it. Okay. All right, so that motion passes. Going on to planning and zoning. I might add, though, Oops. I sent you an email, Christy. It had a lot of wages, a lot of areas, but a lot of wages. Right, and in your email that I, in your response back, I let you know that okay. um, I did have to send those questions on to the departments because I don't make their budget. Okay, fine. And fine. I have asked, I've sent them on, and I've asked them to get back to me so that I can compile answers to get back well, to I mean, you guys. We can't, I can't approve, I can't get to an approval stage unless I know what's coming back from those answers mm -hmm. okay. on wages. Wages and part-time wages. Well, we still have ones. That can be maybe mixed. All right. Planning and zoning. Someone want to move the 145, 470? I'll um, move. Second. All right. Any discussion in this section? No, I don't have any. I don't. Anyone else? No? I do believe that we should treat them as a separately elected board. We believe that our sovereignty is necessary to be sustained by having $2,000 in the budget committee's expense for legal, and that would be true for all of the other elected boards and committees. You know, this is a and, and, and they are, in fact, this both the planning yeah. and the zoning are separately elected boards. Legal expenses? Illegal expenses. Requested one dollar. Right. Administration left that dollar. rather than close down the line. Yeah. Right. Here's give, the thing. We should give them two thousand like board, we gave ourselves. The planning board did not face the obstacles we did. They went directly to the town attorney mm -hmm. and got what they needed. Mm -hmm. They did not we're putting that in there because we had a problem. All right? And they were able to access what they needed. They also did not request it. And we opened up that discussion, I believe, while they were here, when we were questioning how they went about accessing the funds. So while I hear what you're saying, Chip, in line with the budget, they didn't ask for it, so. I made, mo I made no motion. I okay, just made a statement just, for observation. I realize I okay, stand alone in, in giving equal treatment to the various elected boards. Okay, thank you. Any motions in this section? Other than to accept the 145, 470? No? All those in favor? Aye. Mr. Bean? Abstain, please, no. Mr. Bean abstains. I'm, Tim? No, I abstain. I'm in favor. Tim Jones abstains. Everybody else is <coughs> yes. So that passes. <coughs> All right. Government buildings. So I'll move 102,674. <coughs> Second. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on here? 
Yeah, I've got I got one comment. Okay. Heating fuel. I looked at heating fuel, spot out for me anyway. <laughs> um, through November, I annualized it. It was seventy four hundred and fifteen dollars. I looked at eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. The average was eight eighty three fifty seven. They're asking for thirteen five twenty five. I recommend minus four thousand. Okay, so to bring that down, to um, I looked at uh, again eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen annualized, <coughs> and I think they're f at least four thousand over in the out of Okay. At least. So that's Is that a motion. That's a motion. That's a motion. I'll sign it. For discussion, that's for sure. All right, seconded by Mike. Discussion, anybody? Nope. All right, all those in favor of reducing that line? We'll go for it. The 4,000. Okay, so that would be Jerry, Mike, Eileen, Mike. Sandy and Tim. All right, for the record, um, all those opposed? Nick, Scott, Brian, and Steve, and Selectman Bean. Okay, motion passes. <coughs> so here, here we go with the math. Mm -hmm. Okay, the math. 98, 674. Scott, you keep track of that? Yep, yeah, I've got a manual list in this one, so okay. we're good. Yeah, the revised number is 9525, that line item, All right. and the section is 98674. 98674. 98674, yeah. Thank you. All right, motion to accept 98674 as the total. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. <clears throat> those in favor of accepting 98674 yeah. opposed all right Steve Nick Selectman Bean and Scott and Brian you and uh, I approved yes you approved of it okay so four opposed <coughs> all right moving on to cemeteries somebody uh, move the 122 467 I'll move 122 467 Okay. Discussion. Any discussion on Madam this? Madam Chair. Yes. I see that it's a zero point zero one percent increase. I <coughs> yeah, let's just vote yeah. on it. Let's not beat the dead up. There we go. I but that's up to the that's up to the chair. You know, this is, they don't have enough of what they need anyway, but I agree. Steve, when you, do, when you do zero base budgeting, you don't care where they were last year. Yeah. Every line item stands on its own two feet every year, and you got to justify it. So I don't care what it says for percentage, I, don't, I ignore it. Yeah. Now, their expenses are so minimal that we, we are gifted by the people that we have Wonderful in the people. cemetery. Um, I have no discussion for any of I think we should. He does have a sense of humor. He never asks for any of us. He didn't ask. I don't think we, we should be tight. Well, you ask. don't do business like that. We, we did do it a year ago, didn't we? If he asked for I think he didn't ask for anything. I think we did it last year. Yeah. I, I, I think. I think we ought to give him. I, I like your. I, I'll make a motion we increase his wage by 2%. Uh, well, well, everyone else is getting 1.5. I got to hold the line that if, that if it's not asked for, I mean, when it comes to increases, if it's not asked for, and I know it's tough with him because he doesn't ask for anything. Never asked for anything. But he then that ask for medical, and but someone if, had a fight for to get him. If we if we if we do that, then it's like we're. Picking and choosing, and we're recommending. Um, and no, he's just, but, yeah, he, it's just like oh, the town clerk. Right. Tax clerk. They don't. They don't. Get, they're not in on a party. Right. Quite right. honestly, that's something the town manager should <laughs> do in the review. I'm okay. I mean, I, I thought I'm it was okay. a good idea. Yeah. 
trustees. But for anybody watching, Danny Kenny is, is worth far more than we're guy. paying him. Yeah. He's worth every penny. Plus. Um, worth every penny, but you don't want to give another penny. <laughs> he didn't ask. He didn't ask her. If he asked for it. Oh, you're right there. Matter of fact, I, I put up the subject, too. Yeah. All right. So no changes on this? Yeah. Motion to accept it is there. Um, all those in favor Aye. of 122,467. Aye. Opposed? Nobody. Abstention? Mr. Bean? Oh, I'm on the new Thank you. All right. Municipal insurance, we already did that. Yes. Are we accepting those numbers? We already did. Didn't we, we already did. They're all fuzzy wuzzy. We're accepting them as is. As presented. Fuzzy wuzzy, yeah. Well, how are you going to change them? I, until you get the numbers, you can't. I believe we did that already tonight. Yeah. We, all right. We did. We did, we did. We did that already yeah. tonight. We did that. We accepted Earlier. that. I don't know what we voted on. I don't think we did. I don't we, did, we didn't yet. vote on the approval right. as part of the budget. Yeah. We accepted writing the numbers. I'll make down. a motion to. I don't think there's any problem with the numbers. I'm just saying we didn't. Three million nine hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred and thirty-three dollars. Yeah. Motion by motion. Stephen. Yes. Second. Seconded by Mike. Mike. Okay. We already discussed it. All right. Yeah. And I All do those believe in favor. there is a problem with the number. Do I'm we sorry? call what it is? Hmm. I do believe there is a problem with the number. As it was calculated, we got an estimate, and then we added 25% to the estimate. <coughs> that 25% is... Uh, Pretty hefty. Well, it's not necessary at all. Because if the estimate turns out to be light, thus we need more money, other, other money can be had. We have the unassigned fund balance that can be tapped into with the approval of the budget committee. Uh, so it's not like... You know, the sky is going to fall down and we're going to lose our insurance if, if the estimate is not accurate. There's no reason to build fluff into every number just in case it's too low. 25% is a significant fluff. You yes. know what? I would argue I would argue it now um, if these were hard numbers, but this is, um, unfortunately, this is going to be revisited at Deliberate. Yeah. Wait. All right. And we're still not going to have a solid number of deliveries, are we? Where our goal is to have a solid number at deliberative. It's a little, what we said. Uh, I heard something about April. No, no, no. Yeah. no she's going to try, she said. She's going to try. She's going to try. Yeah. She's gonna have something about a contract specifying April. I said in April they will relook at the run rates to make sure that the quotes that they have given are firm. Okay. So we basically, you just want to leave this open until deliberative session? Is that what you want to do then? Well, I want to end up with a number on the budget, and we're not going to have a number on the budget before Thursday <coughs> if you don't come to terms with this, because you're not going to get the insurance number until deliberative. Right. So unless you want to change this by some equation, I recommend <coughs> that you either change it or accept it so that it can go on so we have a final well, number in the budget that can be amended at it, deliberative. It, it is my individual view that we don't need to add anything to it. 25% should be removed from the calculation. However, I do understand the, the other side of the argument, and if you buy that argument, then, I'm, then that begs the question, what's magical about 25? Why don't we do 30? <coughs> we do 50? Because we need why, to come up with How did something. you come up with 25? Did it fall out of the sky and from heaven or what? Nope. It didn't <laughs> fall out of the sky from heaven. <laughs> I spoke with one of the um, agents that we are working with. Fred and I actually had a very high number in our mind because what of what we were hearing. We were, from what we were hearing in regards to other insurance coverage compared to PLT, the rate increases were supposedly going to be significant, like 50%. 50%. Okay. okay. I spoke to an agent who has been working with other, other municipalities, and he said that he cannot recommend any percentages because he doesn't want to give me false hope or false information in regards to his quote because I didn't have his quote at the time. He had said that what he was seeing in the market was about 25% of an increase and so that is where we came up with the 25%. <coughs> okay, so there we go. Somewhere between 50 and 25% is the magic number if you want to have fluff added to be sure, kind of, kind of sure that we're not underfunding, somewhere between 25 and 50 percent. 
I don't think we need to add anything at all. I stated my reason why, but that's, I think, some more full consideration of the argument. Maybe we should be put the difference to go 37 and a half percent. Well, let me ask you, how much of the contract needs to be reviewed, if you will, or finished up on? You know what I mean? If, if, if 80 or 90 percent of the, of, the, of the insurance is understood, and 5 or 10 percent is left to be developed, if you will, or come, they come back to us. I don't have an answer to that because I'm not an insurance professional. I know that when you are dealing with pooled insurance as opposed to private insurance, there are different guidelines that <coughs> the um, agencies have to follow. One has to follow the insurance Law is that what it's referred to as insurance law? Or? Well, it's a regulated industry. Isn't regulated it? insurance law, and the other the pool does not. So there has to be a comparison of the two coverages, and it hasn't been done yet. We just got our other pool this week. Let's roll with it. Let's, There's work that has to be done on this situation. So you guys need to. I mean, you guys can do what you choose to do. All right. Let's roll with it. So the motion is for three million nine hundred forty nine thousand one hundred and thirty three dollars. Is right. that correct? Right. Second okay. the motion. And second it. All those in favor Aye. of putting that number through. <coughs> opposed. Okay. Opposed. Sandy. I know you don't feel too clean to attend. And anything. Phil, where are you on that one? In the affirmative. In the affirmative. Okay. So we have just two negative and no abstentions. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Moving on, parking administration. I have a motion to accept nine million. Oh, no, wait, uh, I'm sorry, seventy-five thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I'll make that motion for you, Madam Chairman. Okay. Second. I'll make second. I'll, I'll second it. Okay, Jerry seconds it. Seventy-five five five zero. Mm-hmm. This is other general government. Yeah. I don't think there's any discussion. Yeah, I think that that number's reasonable based on the increase of what's going on with the parking. Um, it's exactly the same as a default for those who want to know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, I looked it over, it, it's. Yeah. But it's very little more than it was last year and, and Shall we it's, all, it's, all wages, you know. yeah, it's all wages, you know. It's all wages. They do more events. Don't so. sweat it, Steve, one and three quarter percent, nothing. Okay, all those in favor? All right. Mr. Bean? Yeah. Thank you, unanimous. Madam Chairman, I move general government uh, 9,225,325. Well, we need a correction mm -hmm. on that. Right? Sure. Sure. You've made adjustments right. well, change. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what's the correction number, sir? The new, the new number is 9,161,864. Okay. Yeah. I'll move make a motion mm -hmm. for 9,161,864. Second. Second. Or Brian Steve? second. Brian seconds it. Brian seconds it. Brian seconds it. <laughs> All those in favor? Remember where we are. Where we are. Hands up. <laughs> Those who approve this number. Let's move the crack here. What the hell's going on? Did we change? Did we change? Hmm? Sixty-one thousand eight hundred and sixty-four dollars. Yeah, it's nine million one sixty-one. Yeah, one sixty-one. Did you call She's the one fifty-one, I think. Eight six four. Wait a minute. What was that? Nine million one sixty-one. That's what I. Eight yeah, that's what I thought I heard. I'm right. I thought you said one fifty. One sixty-one. One sixty-one. One sixty-one eight six four. Eight six four. Right. How did we end up more when we took money out? What? No, we, we were the, the the selectman's budget was nine million two twenty five one ninety. Right, and we've taken out sixty three thousand three twenty six. I think what you were looking at, perhaps it wasn't adjusted. The insurance wasn't adjusted in the note. Okay, um, oh yeah. Wrong. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, the whole yeah, 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 yeah. So you yeah. need to call for another for the vote. Okay, so nine million one hundred sixty one thousand eight hundred and sixty four. I made the motion on that. Okay, yeah, you did. Brian. Just we want to make sure. We just said yes. It's been seconded. Did we vote? Yeah, did we did. Not, I did not vote in the affirmative. I didn't either. We voted. So, All right. So. Do you want to do it again, Eileen? Yeah, I want to vote. I don't see anybody's hands. Okay, right? I'm, a, I'm, I'm in favor of it. You're taking a vote now? Okay, I'm in favor. Right number, the wrong number. 
Yeah. 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 It's 9,161,864. I know. You have to vote for it. Good enough. A vote. Good enough. All right. So, Mike, Sandy, Brian, Jerry, Mike, Eileen. Opposed? Nick, Scott, Steve? Abstentions? Tim? Very against? Okay. Three oh. against. Okay. Motion passes. Four. Four against. Oh, four against. Okay. All right. Police Department. Mr. Policeman. Give them what they want. Going to the bottom line. Total Police Department. Christy, is that yeah. still three million nine hundred eighty thousand four hundred thirty-eight dollars? That's the Board of Selectmen's amount. Yes. Correct. Okay. <coughs> so moved. I'll second. A second. Moved and seconded. Yeah. Okay. No question about the Police Department. In no. case you're interested, it's up over the default by fifty-nine thousand one hundred fifty-nine dollars. <coughs> No questions about this. No I questions this about anything? No, I see this one item in the case of the over item. Yeah. I think I, I, I had some questions on the electric. Okay. But after some investigations, plus a memo from Christy, <clears throat> I'm comfortable. He may be a little hefty there, but I'm okay. You can actually vote in this. Okay. We pretty much exhausted <laughs> this. And in the affirmative. This with the. Um, with the police department. Okay. All right. So three million nine hundred eighty thousand one hundred and thirty-eight, and it was moved by me. Believe it or not. Tim. Seconded by. I might have. I might have. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor of moving. Unanimous. Okay. Fire department still three million four hundred twenty-six thousand four hundred thirty-five dollars, Christy. Three million four twenty-six two thirty-five. So moved. Second. Second. For those who want to know, it's seventeen thousand twenty dollars over the default. What was that number again? Three billion. Three million four hundred twenty-six thousand two hundred and thirty-five. Thank you, Mr. Jones. You do that so well. Yes. Right. This is I view as another no-brainer. I hope you all unanimously agree. No. That's sad. Yeah. All right, anything on this one, Mike? <coughs> yeah, I have, well, Mike, do you first? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I have a problem with the overtime callback. The overtime callback is, is the last four years average was 15189 Annualized through November, he was 10340 Comes in asking for 52394 I recommend uh, any, you know, he, he talked about buildings burning and if we have any big fires on the beach, you know, it, it'll just blow that line. It just hasn't in the last five years. So I looked at the A-block fire we had back in 010, 011, I think it was. And um, it was in you know, 2010, February of 2010. And I looked at that year's old time callback and it was 36 for 11 far from the 52. So what I did is I I thought about it and I would give him um, I would recommend 25,000 for that line and drop his account by 27,394. I'll second that motion. So he's getting a boost from where he was based on what he said. But I wasn't totally comfortable in doing it, but I'm willing. I'm willing to give them a little bit, and but not the fifty. Okay. Two. So you're willing to put how much in that line again? Uh, I'm willing to put twenty-seven three ninety-four in there. You, you said twenty. You said twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five. Like no, re 25. recommend twenty-five thousand and drop the account by twenty-seven three ninety-four. So he's going to get a big bump there. He's. You know, he hasn't you spent any. You know, and even twenty five thousand after you remove the extra. Yes. Okay. I, just, I mean, it, it's it's. Uh, he, he's never spent more than the last five years. He's never spent more than fifteen thousand. I said I was just confused on the numbers. It cost thirty six. In five years, he's never spent more than fifteen. Fifteen one eighty nine. And he's annualized about ten grand this year. But he, he made an argument about what it really takes in some instances, a uh, double decker or a triple decker, and if he goes to the beach and so on. And he he came in. 
probably what his best estimate, which was 52, which I think he was throwing darts. Okay. Uh, but I gave him, I recommend that we drop it to point. Any other discussion? I think you're kind of throwing darts here because I don't understand where, why you're cutting this. I just said it. History. You, it's five years. The last five years were the history. And then, and you went back even to the uh, big storm we had on the A block. Bhutan callback in 2013 was 55,000. What? Nope. I'm sorry, 52,394. No, I've got 19,805. No, overtime callback and fire Right, sure, sure. 213. Oh, he, he's, he's annualized out at 10,000 this year, thereabouts. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd have to go find him, find him now. So he annualized out at 10,000 this past year? And we're doubling, more than doubling? Yeah, we're giving him 25. He wanted 50. And 13. He wanted that last year, too. Yeah. But he didn't get it because of the uh, default. But he didn't use it this year. We have I mean, something catastrophic. Sure. 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 It has thirteen. He did. Look, what's that number? Is thirteen. It I, I looked at the last four years and it averaged out fifteen. This is the budget. It's the budget this year. Fifty-two thousand. So some we thirteen. We did fifty-two thousand. Oh, so the, the actual 13. number has been. Yeah, he may have. He, he, he may have gotten fifty-two thousand. Yeah. The highest one was the A block. Oh, come on. That's Brian's got it in his hand. I'm just asking that. Brian, you got that mixed up with the actuals. I mean, but uh, budget, not actual. Right. Yeah, the that only, never was that high. The only, yes, yeah, budget. The only yeah. actual is 2012. So since you, you've got that one in front of us. Um, Scott has the actuals going back about 100 years. No, from 1460. No, no, that's 2011, 18,690, then 15,000. 2014 was 69,000. Oh. Yeah, 19,605, uh, 1314 was 69,504. Was 15, 15,508. The rest was all budget. Yeah. 2014 actual was 69,594. Budget, right? Let's go. Yeah, not by expense. It was, it was the budget itself. budget. For that year. I'm looking actual. Yeah, we're looking at actual. That was the budget. It yeah, was the default, default budget, budget, but not that's what we got passed. But not the actual. Not what the he actual. Spent. We're going by what he spent. Okay, thanks. We got that cleaned up. I think. All right. Anybody else? No. Let's take a vote on that. Oh, wait a minute. Do you have anything else on this? No, that's it. Okay. Reduce it by twenty-seven thousand three hundred ninety-four dollars. You have twenty-five thousand on that line. It being. It being the overtime, overtime callback in the fire department. Right. Yeah. Well, that's uh, 4202 1460. Right. 25 grand. Mm -hmm. 25 grand. Reduce it 27,000. What's it? 27. We're reducing it 27,394. Right. The new number would be 27,394. No, the new number is 20, 25, 25, 000. 000. 25, 000. 25 000. We're reducing I know, it I know, I know, I know. He's getting 25, but we're reducing it by 27,394. Oh, you're reducing it by that? Okay, I thought you were yeah. going to take. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> 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 Cutting almost in half, a little bit more than half. Okay. All those in favor? Okay. So Mike, Sandy, Tim, Eileen, Mike, Jerry. All those opposed? Selectman Bean, Nick, Scott, Brian, and Steve. Five. Over to five. Motion passes. <coughs> What was the count? Six to five. Thank you. What's the new total on that? New total is two billion four hundred and forty four thousand three hundred and forty six. Thank you. I have some more recommendations, Madam Chairman. Okay. Uh, equipment replacement. Alrighty. Which uh, one? It's uh, forty two two oh two seventy four fifty. Okay. That line for seventeen thousand eight hundred dollars. Um, it was. Uh, yes, 
He's asking seventeen eight hundred, right? Mm -hmm. Minus minus forty eight hundred one from last year. He's asking, but which is minus forty eight hundred? That's what you uh, what we uh, talked uh, about earlier today. Uh, yes. Hang on now. Uh, mm, try mm -hmm. to determine the Yes. Hang on now. Trying to determine what I, I I may have had the replacement equipment and the replacement others swapped here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, the new equipment, you just, we wanted to adjust that one also. Well, the new equipment is adjusted to zero. So what do you really want to take yeah, it to? That no, equipment other. The 14168. Yeah. Okay, we want to reduce that by uh, 1168. Oh, yes. And you want to reduce it to what? Reduce it by uh, one one. We six want to eight. drop out one one six eight and allow thirteen thousand. Right. And the r rationale on that? Okay. Last four years average was twelve thousand seven forty. This year he was seven six six five year to date through November. Yeah. He's asking fourteen thousand one six eight. I think that's nickel and dime in the equipment. I don't see a reason for that. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Right. How about the next one for seventeen eight? You want to reduce that by almost five gram. Um, Forty eight hundred. Which line, Mike? I'm sorry. Okay, that's uh, 020, 024, 422, 02, 7450 replacement equipment. It's the bottom line. No, that's been reduced too. It has been. Well, mm -hmm. last year was twenty five. Three sixty. This year seventeen eight. Yeah. And the default is even more than that. So I think that that's, you know, the the default's 20, isn't it? Uh, Let me know when to vote. Uh, yeah. The, this, this article, this, this line item, replacement equipment, had an encumbrance against it of 24650 and a budget of 25360 for a total budget of 50010 spent zero. The last four years average was 10,253. The highest three years out of the four was 12,767. You know what though, Jerry? What? I'm not gonna, I don't mean to interrupt you, but this is one of those areas that I bet if you really got into it, it's one of the areas that you hold back on when you, you pinch in that budget tight. Yeah. Well, and I, I'm like, only, I, mean, I don't know money. that. He wasn't allowed to do a lot of things because of yeah. the default. And there wasn't we, well, you think. You think. I don't know that. We heard that as a recurring. Yes. It's like sometimes the nature of the line items themselves, um, that's what they hold back on and wait till the end of the year and hope that there's money left over to, to do okay. this. Okay, so. let's go with the last four years average, though, of 10,253. But that's why I'm saying I can't look at the averages on that because I'm not sure what was needed to be held back on. The we've last had, four years? We've had default budgets. Hold the line. No, the line of the 13 was 14 is our first default. We the 13 passed. Yeah, so for, they're 14 and 15 were default. Yeah. Let's so, take a vote on it. Let's and, take a vote. Uh, I don't think so, it's a lot of money. It's one piece of equipment. He's asking for 17.8, and I recommend that we take out like 4,800, something like that. Yeah. Let's take a vote. Yeah. Move on. All right. So you want to take out how much? What's the most? 4,800, that would drop up to 13,000. 13? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Moved by Jerry, seconded by Mike. By Mike. Mm -hmm. All right. All those in favor? All right. Mike and Jerry. All those opposed. <laughs> okay. Everybody else. All right. And let the notes reflect that Steve left at um, 10:05. Okay. So we now have 10 people. Okay. That did not change our total at the bottom that um, Scott gave us earlier. So we're all set. What was that number? What was your that was four three forty six, right? Yep. What? Two million four hundred and forty four thousand three forty six. Mm -hmm. what? Wait a minute. Are you lost? Uh, we're, you're, you're looking at fire suppression. It's yeah. not the total. Right. No, we're right. Right. That's total. the one we just finished. No, uh, not fire suppression. We're looking at total fire department. Oh, okay. Oh, I, oh. oh total fire department. Two million four twenty six two thirty five. I'm sorry, but. 
Unless there's any other no, questions. No, I have other things here. You have other oh, things? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, he's got training budgeted for 35653 And uh, 015 year to date was 10346 Mm -hmm. The last four years, he averaged sixteen seven eighty. Now he did he did delineate this uh, live fire training, yeah. which creates two teams. Which he had a warrant article in the two, and it, that got pulled and disapproved. So I don't know. I'm going to have to. I'm up in the air on that one mm -hmm. because if the live fire training is baked into that thirty five thousand six fifty three, I'm okay. If it isn't, I think it's high. And I, I think, and I don't know who to ask, Fred maybe, or Christy. Christy? On page 29, I didn't make this budget, but on page 29, yeah. it, it is all broken down. Yes. And the only thing I see that says fire training drill yard fees is only 1500 But I mean, it's broken down on that page. I, I don't want to answer for the chief in regards to. On page 29? You know. Mm -hmm. 29 is the breakdown of all of the lines yeah, that make up that. Yeah, training and song. recruitment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you see there, there's the largest line there is 13,050. But there's a big part, there's a big paragraph here. Big fire part. training, live fire training is a group level training okay. under simulated conditions, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And, and. I just don't know how much, how much of that. Thirteen thousand. Yeah. Seminars and schools forty-five at two ninety each. The one that you're talking about there, Jerry, is the thirty-three o o twenty-eight. That covers those two paragraphs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That thirty-three o twenty-eight has a lot of different things in it. Yeah, but it totals down for a total training of thirty-five six fifty-three. Yeah, uh, but you're right. Thirty thirty three oh twenty eight is mm -hmm. is the the, uh, the actual training. Yeah, right. thirty three oh twenty eight. So again, I think my statement's the same. If it includes that live fire training, I don't think I have a problem. <coughs> the warrant article did get pulled and disapproved. So I'm gonna. I guess I'll have to leave, leave it, it there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Today. Vehicle maintenance. <coughs> Yep. Vehicle maintenance, where the heck that is, I don't know. OBS uh, 12. Mm -hmm. OBS 12. Yeah. Third line down. Yeah, I, here, this is one uh, he's asking 121.5. 2015 was defaulted to 110,500 for a budget. Initial rec was for a 121.5. Mm -hmm. Year to date through November, annualized was 91.808, and he had to set some generator out for work repair. I don't know what that yeah. cost. Mm -hmm. Last four years average 103. Let's call it 104, 103.8. Default of 110.5 looked good to me and remain, should remain. <laughs> so I would recommend cutting 11,000 out of here and sticking with the default number of last year, 110.5. Do you want to make a motion? 110 five is 110 nine. 110 nine. 110 nine. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Do I make a motion? Yep. I'll make a motion. Somebody second it? I'll second it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's for the discussion. Trucks are getting a year older. Uh, it's always going to be more. I mean, you're talking serial ladder trucks, four pumping engines, three ambulances. One light utility, five staff vehicles, two boats. Another year is another added group of maintenance, and that's, I don't have any specific figures. It's just for consideration. Mm -hmm. Until we get a washdown facility and a few other things, we're going to have this maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor of this motion? All those opposed? All right. And abstentions. So, 8 to 2 motion fails. Uh, on building maintenance, I can only make this comment. He's asking 28720, and I, don't, I didn't touch it. However, I did see some 
suspicious things in here that are recurring. And I'm just wondering if we ought to go about our way, our methods, or take it on ourselves. For instance, floor maintenance is occurring every year. Overhead doors are every year getting something done on. Ducts and drains are getting cleaned every year, 3,600. And the high voltage AC system, supposedly a brand new one, 8,000 a year. And I'm just wondering if we should bid that out or something. So there's recurring, there's some recurring expenses occurring here, making up this 28.7, which I would push on if I was the town manager, and I'd push on this and see if the HVAC checkout every year is really that costly, 8,000 a year. Or can we get somebody as qualified supplier to do it for less? And is it necessary a brand new system to do every year? Ducks and cleaning, ducks and drain every year, 3,600, mm. and uh, floor maintenance. What is it that, what does that consist of? Every year? And overhead doors and every year. So there's some things that are appearing in there that look to me like they're pushable. I didn't touch the twenty eight seven twenty, but if I was the manager or director I'd be pushing on it. Which I'm not. Peer maintenance is the next one and my last one here. But this is gonna be nickel and diming. He's asking for almost five thousand, and we've never spent more than twenty-seven twenty last four years. So I recommend it taking fourteen seventy-five out of there. But if that's nickel and diming, that's what it is. It's pure maintenance. You gonna make a motion? Year, year to date analyzed it about eleven hundred. So yeah, I'll make a motion. To Second. The, <laughs> give him thirty-five hundred. Mm -hmm. Takes fourteen seventy-five out. Motion seconded. Madam Chairman. Okay. Any discussion? No. Vote. All those in favor of this article? I think these people are petered out. <laughs> We're all wanting to go home. I, I think, I think they've Jerry. exhausted themselves. Opposed? That's it for me on fire. Okay. Opposed? Yep. No abstentions? Okay. Eight to two. Motion passed. On the bottom line again, it's All righty. So, now, that bottom line. Okay. Georgia. Bottom line. Fire department. Fire department. Let me get it. Let me get that. <laughs> Calm down. There you go. All right. Um, the, uh, the revised total is three million three ninety eight eight forty one. Okay. All right. Motion. I'll make a motion. That? Yeah, I'll make mm -hmm. that. One. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Madam Chairman, do you want to call it? Yeah. For tonight, I, well, wait I think let's these people. Finish, let's finish the vote. All those in favor? Yeah. Right. Okay. All those opposed? Mike, Scott, and those abstaining. Selection B. Is your hand up, Tim? I voted in favor. Okay. All right. Yeah, Motion passes. So I've got a lot to say about DPW. <laughs> so it'll, it, we just can't do it tonight. These guys are shot. Whose guys? I'm just a dirty dog that keeps moving like a dog. Okay. No, I've got shot. I don't, I'm I don't, yeah. I don't quit. I'm, I'm like a junkyard dog. <laughs> just, we just have two opposing views. <laughs> and I got myself painted in a corner a little bit, you know. I believe in the whole budget. Yeah. And so now to vote, you know, in favor of pulling it apart, I'm, I'm not going there. So, But I'll keep track of it and I'm with you. I mean, you know, you're doing a hell of a job. You are one hell of a good school. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. What's our next meeting, uh, Madam Next Chair? meeting is Wednesday here, 7 p.m. And then okay. we work session like this one? That's our last work session? Well, yeah, we got the DPW, we'll and by that time I will have looked at Christie's wages. Thursday's a public hearing. We yes. have the CBAs. He was asking about the public hearing. I said that's Thursday. That's Thursday. That'll be at the school. Hey, Timmy. Yeah. If we emptied out the technology budget. Are we off camera now? We've adjourned. Um, did we, did we well, was there a motion to adjourn? Yeah, you don't yeah. know. Yeah. 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 Okay, the second. Motion to adjourn at 10, 10, 10 18. <laughs> okay, and all those in all favor? All in favor, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Unanimous. All right, we are done. We